I would like to remind everyone that this show is brought to you by The Dolphin Wars. Hello, everybody, and welcome to King Dolphin TV. This is episode 253. Uh, yet another Just Cuz ready to rock and roll. And uh, look at us, Legion I starts off with We of the Pod racing to the kitty table, eclairs and donuts for all. Now, that yeah. is a great start. That is a great start. Yes, it is. Uh, yes. Oh, Wendy is saying, the brisket nachos are amazing. Ooh. Oh, I wonder what that is. Ooh, nachos. All right. Party, party wherever Wendy is. That's true. That's true. Uh, Wendy is saying, Jimmy and I are on vacation on Arlington, Texas, ready to watch the Astros play, play the Rangers at Global Life Field in Arlington. Okay, cool. And then I've got, I am surrounded by four of the bestest panelists ever to be had by a host. I got, so we got, to, let me introduce the panel before the rest of the chat. Let me start with uh, the, the amazing Pudgy and Cobalt. How are you guys doing? It's Mr. Raymond time. 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 It's Mr. Raymond time on Chain Dolphin TV. Yay! Thank you, Pudgy. As always, I love that song at the very beginning. Yep. yep. And how are you, Fez Man? Oh, good. And. Um... You know, share a little news with everybody. Uh, Mom got the surgery this week. Came out well. She's in a little bit of pain, you know, as you would expect, but everything went well. Mm -hmm. So now it's just a matter of determining radiation or chemo or the combination yeah. thereof. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. But a uh, very, very sincere thank you to everybody in the pod, in the chat, on the panel for the uh, prayers and good wishes. That means a lot to me. Thank you. All right. And, uh, All right. Uh, please point. Uh, thank you very much for saying that. Thank you very much for the chance. So please put a uh, Fez bomb out there to continue to show our love and support for John and uh, his mom. So yes, Fez use, use Fez Thanks, mom. everybody. Not, not the other one that we used that one time. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's yeah, that's true. That's true. And Dolly four five one the exterminator. How you doing, pal? <laughs> hi Raymond. Hi Pudgy. Hi Fez. Hey there. Uh, pretty good week. Uh, I finally got finally got back around to doing some doing some stuff on my channel. I've done a couple of live streams. Awesome. I yeah. even did a, in fact, I even did a little, did a bit, of, did a bit of, I even took part in a stream with Pudgy this week. Oh, oh yeah. for the first time. Yeah, we did a, yeah. Did a, yeah, we did a collab on over on Twitch playing uh, Team Fortress Two. It was it was frustrating but fun. Ah, oh. awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. There were a lot of people there. <laughs> 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 oh, I missed that. Yeah, yep. I missed. Yeah, yeah, bots and cheaters and, and hackers and exploiters and and a lot of yeah. people. You <laughs> over <laughs> there. <laughs> <Get your bar. laughs> and, and yes, but you're right. I have been. <laughs> it was been that was great. Just in a dealer with a boomstick. 
Yeah. I mm -hmm. have. All right. I have been. Oh. You should you should you should check out my last lives my last my last live stream. I was playing a game a game that got re just got released. Um well the mm. actually the full version of it the full it actually got re first released a, a few days ago as a kind of a demo, but the the full version of it is now out on, on Steam, which released on the yeah. fourth. And it's called it's a game called Buckshot Roulette. And I and I and and uh, it's I play and I played that on my channel. I had a great time playing it. It's it's quite a short game, but it's but it's it's really it's really really intense and fun and strategic if you if you want if you like that kind of thing. It's it's literally it's literally Russian roulette, but with a but with a shotgun instead of a revolver. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy. Should I should I have not said that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I did I no, sorry, no. did I should I have not said that? You push the button oh, and make Mr. Raymond go away. Oh god, I'm so sorry. Am I here? I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Okay. Yep. Oh good. Oh okay. you, you unpush right. the button to make Mr. Raymond go away. Mr. Raymond's back. Yay. Yeah, I don't Yay. know what happened. I was just I just uh stepped away to um in fact I'm going to pin oh, geez, the uh, the, the Dalek didn't push the button to make Mr. Raymond go away. Mr. Raymond well, went away all by himself. I, I, Mr. I Raymond didn't go away. Mr. Did. Raymond, Mr. Raymond was uh, putting up the, uh, the 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 tip thing. Okay, so uh, we've, ah. we've, we've introduced the panel. Um, the slap shot table's ready. The uh, the kitty table is ready with eclairs and all sorts of good stuff. Uh, we're gonna do an unpackaging tonight. Ooh. And I've got a surprise unpackaging ah. to do tonight. So we're gonna have that. And uh, is it tired says, chains? What? Is it tired chains? No. The goddess is asking, talking about surgery. Other than hearing Beth had one recently, does anybody have any more information? No, I don't. I haven't heard. I only saw it yesterday on a on a uh, super chat on on Friday night for Alex. Uh, I I didn't stay long because I'm doing. I was at a hotel yeah. Thursday night and all day Friday, and the internet was very wonky. The internet in that place didn't like VPN, so I I had a fight with them to get the to get the uh, uh, VPN or their internet going. And in the meantime, yeah. I had to use for stuff uh, that was conference related, I had to use my hotspot at times, which was frustrating. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, I, I know FET put, FET put up a short yesterday wishing Beth well. So mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. I missed that. Oh, okay. All right. Well, let us welcome the channel. We have in the chat, we've got, da, 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 da. we have Darth. Hello, Darth. Hope you're doing well. Hey we've Hi. got, we've got, we've got Carla Barton. Hello, Carla. Come on up. Um, oh, boy, but you hope she has another driving video, you know, oh. driving, driving through oh. New Zealand, done. Get your back to Australia, <laughs> you. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. Oh, pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's good to have everybody back today. On yep. a, uh, just good. Um, <laughs> Carla says, I do drive like a sailor. All right. And now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and now oh, the... oh no you know what that means what if she drives like a sailor that mean, means she talks like a marine oh probably <laughs> probably she's we're worse than uh, right. mm -hmm. yeah uh let's see and now let's talk about the theme supreme we've got uh We've got uh, Legatus Legion I, the troublemaker who is first in and the last out. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, uh, Wendy Webb, a uh, trauma warrior. 
She's on vacation. Um, and, she's in and, Arlington. And she's eating nachos. Yeah, yeah. nachos. Brisket no nachos. Fair. Not, yeah, brisket nachos. That is really no fair. That yeah, is, really. That is really, really no fair. And I don't think they have them even at Goldstein's Delicatessen. <laughs> yeah. Well, wouldn't it be pastrami nachos there? Mm, <laughs> yes, it would. <laughs> uh, oh, I did dough for pastrami, actually. <laughs> yes. Uh -oh. oh, no. Gold, Goldstein's has the best in our area. Ah. Thick rye and you know, dark mustard. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that does sound good. All right. So, and, and, and last, before we go talk, talking about our producer, we cannot forget about a certain somebody. And it's time for the return of <laughs> the hardest working bear on the internet. Start up a bus, you burr. Dots green. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> uh, okay, hey, guys. Sorry. Hey, Billy. Hey, Billy. Sorry. Can you can you let Mister Raven talk? <laughs> no, I'm not letting him talk. <laughs> He's he he got his timing off, so why should I let him talk? <laughs> All right, let's well, continue. There is, there is a bit of a delay, so. Gotcha. All right, continue. And the other bear without the underwear. Whose stage name was? <coughs> Fuzzy Wuzzy. <laughs> In the Gentleman Bear Club. <laughs> Sniffles. <laughs> hey. Boom. Uh, uh oh. It's time for Major Kong to replace Sniffles D Boom. Hey, dolphin guy, get your cues right. You forgot the yeehaw. He's not going to do it now. Have a great show, guys. Boy, I go away for a day or so and things go already stop, down south. So... And last but not least, especially not least, my producer. Remember, this is a Sandra Policiano presentation. Um, our producer, Sandra, the other half, my better half, the one keeping me uh, keeping me on tri track as best as she possibly can, which Yay. is kind of hard. Yay. Yep. So we've got... All right. So, Away. If, so if you like what we're doing here, if you are enjoying the chaos, the fun, the jokes, the laughter, mm -hmm. please like and subscribe. And if you want to ensure that Snorapupas 
uh, doesn't go old. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Let me uh, let's get this up here. If you don't want, oh, I know it's, uh, it's uh, I gotta get in to, to start sending me stuff here. <laughs> let's see here. Uh, if you don't want a certain lar large and in charge. The heck? If you don't want a certain large... Please donate, please donate to Mr. Raven so he can take Sandra on a fudgy wudgy date. <laughs> and, and to make sure you don't have Snorter Poopus go old soprano on you. Mm -hmm. Make sure you go to the tip jar, put some ducats in the buckets, and help out the channel. Help uh, keep Snorta Poopus uh, uh, from doing that, and uh, help out with things like pot, the upcoming PodCon. Yep. So I hope you are going to enjoy yourself, and again... Uh, if you are so inclined, please. Oh, come on, don't you start buffering on me. Yeah. All right. Darth says, hit the like button, please. And Legatus like, Legionette share, says, subscribe. Yeah. Le Legatus says, look for the bare necessities, those simple bare necessities. Forget about <laughs> your worry and your strike. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, Ooh. man. <laughs> Colossal love that, pastrami love bird. That, love that Real. song. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, now you're talking, Darth. <laughs> Double, Double cheeseburger with pastrami. With pastrami. Ooh. 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 Nice. The best I got this week. Oh, yeah, I gotta tell you about hotel. This hotel's food. First off, mm -hmm. um, you go to the front desk, and as part of the uh, as part of their welcome package, they give you a bottle of water and a fresh, warmed, right out of the warming oven cookie, chocolate oh, chip, chocolate nice. chip, fresh out of the. Fresh out of the warmer. That's just a baby. Cool. Uh -oh. Hello. Whoa, what was that? Okay, so yeah. We would um, like to talk to you about your extended warranty. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I had that. And then Thursday night, we had, uh, the, they have a restaurant in the hotel like everybody else. This is, this is a double free. So, mm -hmm. so the, you know, they have, they have a, uh, you know, a connection to Hilton. They had a nice, mm -hmm. nice restaurant, uh, great waitress, great bartender slash waitress. And I, so I asked her, okay, what can I, what is good here? Uh, they mm -hmm. have, they had something called a smash burger, which is, I think, a brisket, brisket cheeseburger, which I said, mmm, that sounds good. And then she said, don't eat the chicken sandwiches. Um, they're not, uh, they're not good. So I said, and then I, <laughs> and then I saw the magic word wings. I said, oh, how are the wings? She says, I love the wings. I said, okay, you made my mind. I'll take the wings. My God. They were big. The sauce was, the buffalo sauce was awesome. And there were a lot of them. In fact, I think I made a mistake wow. ordering a side dish of French fries. Not thinking <laughs> I was, not thinking um, that thinking that it wasn't going to be a whole bunch of of wings, but no, I got about... Are we talking uh, the actual full wings, all sections, or, or like uh, 
or, or the the flats and the, and the uh, drumsticks. Mm -hmm. Uh, the flats and the drumsticks. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, man. most wing places, you know, they they you know skimp you uh, on the on the portion, so you know dinner and the fries is definitely a requirement. But yeah. cool. Yeah. Sounds like yeah. this uh, place was actually uh, being run right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So yeah. the wings were magnificent, and I told her that. I said they were a magnificent. Excellent. So, and then and to clarify, the, these were chicken, not pigeon. They were chicken, yes. Okay. No, oh, that's at the were... Chinese restaurant down the road. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fung Lo Sing. <laughs> mm. uh, let's see. Stadium has an amazing barbecue. Restaurant. We watched the game last night and ate brisket. Today we're hitting the hot dogs. Ooh, hot dogs. Mm, barbecue but, uh, hot yeah. dogs. Mm, yeah. There's a so, there, there's a steak restaurant that's that's nearby. It's it's not like top tier or anything. Their major claim to fame is a buffet. But uh, one of the uh, fun parts is that uh, on the kids menu, if you get the hot dog, uh, they have the uh, the branding iron with the with a removable typeface on it. So mm. you can you can uh, get your name seared into the hot dog. Mm. Nice, <laughs> that's cool. They still that's do it. Cool. You know, they've been doing it since the '80s, and, and you know, not too many people remember it. But if you go and ask, you'll, uh, especially whenever I go, and I'm like, "Hey, can I get a hot dog?" And it says Pudgy, and they're like, "Sure, who's yeah. Pudgy?" <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then Pudgy pops up on the table and says, "Pudgy's Pudgy." And, it, <laughs> and and they're like, oh boy, there's a headshot. Wait, how are you talking? And Pudgy's like, magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, one day you got it. Where is the ice cream machine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then after about twelve bowls, they say, you know what? You guys got to leave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take your hot dog and leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you beat us out of all the ice cream. Yeah, really. Uh, uh, let's see. Ooh, that's Legata a good says, idea. Uh, Legata says, at a hotel, it better have been only with Mrs. Dolphin. Hey, it was just me. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, so. And you, know, and you know what the best part is? Mr. Raymond got to stretch out, and then he could snore the whole night, and, and no one would say anything. <laughs> yeah. So um, there, uh, yes, uh, yesterday the food was pretty much uh, we we were pretty much they fed us and I'm like oh, and it was all good food, all good food. nice. Yeah, so it was a, it was a de it was a very informative and decent conference, but it's so much better to be home. Yeah, be, yeah. Uh, Meeting topic number one: How to take off. Meeting topic number two, how to keep airplane in, in, in the sky. Meeting topic <laughs> number three, how to land the airplane. Meeting topic four, what to do after landing the airplane. Meeting topic five, what was meeting topic two? <laughs> <laughs> and lunch. <laughs> yeah. uh, Snorter Poopa sustained. The pro problem is Pudgy wore disguises and checked himself in ten times and then ran out, out of cookies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. He comes in with the party animal hat. He comes in with his mining hat. He comes in with a with a beret. Top hat. Wait, was it a raspberry beret, the one that you get at a second-hand store? <laughs> yeah, that one. Uh, remember, John, top hat is the other guy. Yeah. Yeah, top hat oh, is wait the a minute. Isn't there a Reginald Van Pudgy? Hmm. Pudgy doesn't know. I, don't I know. think we did put. Oh one no, we that. yeah, we do have a fancy Pudgy. We do yeah. have a fancy Pudgy. So yeah. Ah. Oh. And That's Pirate true. Pudgy too. And Pirate Pudgy too. Yeah. So there's at least five. Oh, Chainsaw. Chainsaw Pudgy. Cowboy Pudgy. Cowboy Pudgy. Yeah. Uh, Nick Fury Pudgy. Ooh. 
Yeah. How's he's head with all these snakes on the plane? Uh, Darth says cat wings. Uh, LOL. Just kidding. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's well, see. You know what you get whenever you uh, order a double wing? What? Someone, someone says hello. Uh, huh. And thus it begins. Yes. Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. So um, let us uh, open up the kitty table. And let's see. Oh, boy. Hmm. I don't think we've got new Pudgy. So I think we're going to use Pudgy in the... Do we have new Pudgy? No. Oh, boy. This is going to be just like... Uh... Old coach versus new coach. What? Old pudgy versus new pudgy. Yeah, yeah. but I don't and, think and we have. And meanwhile, it's it's you know pudgy is pudgy. It's just two, you know two different camera shots. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Well, this here's. Yeah, this this here is normal pudgy. The other one was with uh, with the Instagram filters. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Well, that we, yeah, here is yeah, Pudge, his. Yeah, Pudge, yeah, Pudgy keeps talking to the cobalt like we gotta go to go to the uh, special places, and we gotta and we gotta uh, do, do the selfies. And cobalt's yeah. like, why? Because Pudgy wants an Instagram account. Because <laughs> you, you get the Instagram account, and then you start po posting pictures, you know, of, of you and your swimwear, and then millions of dollars appear out of nowhere, and then you know, converted it. <laughs> Converted the acorns, Pudgy will be a billionaire in the forest. And then uh, Cobalt says, "Oh, wait a minute! What are you gonna do with all the acorns?" And Pudgy's like, "Bake muffins." <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, sounds That's reasonable to me. Yeah, but Pudgy, you have you have become such a mercenary since you joined the pod. I, one would almost think you're the other guy. No, no, no we, we safely uh, secured that door uh, and and uh, got rid of all the electronic uh, connections. So, you know, he, he yeah, he he's gone. He, he's sealed away over in that other world. So as long as you don't do whatever you did that last time to connect over to the mirror universe, we should be fine. Well, okay, kind of missing them. <laughs> it is tax season. Yeah, it is. He's probably quite busy. Yeah. Sandra said Sandra said the name. Sandra said this name. I think Sandra wants to see him come make an appearance here. Or tell mm. one of his horrific jokes. I you know what would be funny is you know. Uh, Mirror Pudgy's take on Warhammer bolt gun. <laughs> <coughs> oh, there he is. Yeah. Hi, Mirror uh -oh. Pudgy. There's Mirror Pudgy. Yep. Oh. Yeah, he's, he's looking, but he can't get in, in right now. Okay. And that's Just... the reason why you should always have antivirus on your computer. <laughs> 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 Uh, boy, but, let's boy, but a pudgy can only imagine mirror pudgy's over on the other end trying to get into this computer mr raymond runs antivirus and then all of a sudden it's you know it's it sends them over to uh one of those sites like click here to find out the secret character who died on sesame street and then you uh, have to go through 25 different ads to get to part one and part one <laughs> says Click for part two. And it's 24, 25 more ads. So that, that's what, what's happening right now. Mirror, Mirror Pudgy is stuck in all these ads for Cialis, whatever that stuff is. You know, and go, go, going through all the uh, the medical uh, terms and conditions. And, 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 and you know, clicky, 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 clicky. And then, you know, drug ad, drug ad, drug ad, drug ad. You know, ladies fashion, ladies fashion, drug ad, drug ad, uh, ladies fashion. 
uh, I'd love to hear for uh, for hot dollops in your area, uh, lady <laughs> fashion, lady fashion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <laughs> Thalics in your area <laughs> <laughs> this Dalek wants to meet up with this Dalek wants to hook up with you <laughs> yeah and, and and she's only she's only five miles away from you yeah. go on a date go on a date <laughs> oh the oh the things oh the things oh. the series one hundreds can do in Edinburgh. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, um. oh God, not again. Please vote for Pudgy. You hung up on our last call for the extended warranty. This is your offer for the next extended warranty. Click, click here to be connected to an all English speaking American operator. <laughs> right, sure. Right. Uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. What's this? Cat wings, just kidding. Just having fun, Sandra. But we did see a guy in my town eating people's cats. Ew. Yeah, what? Ah, catnip people. Oh, boy. Ugh. I mean, I'm not overly fond of... I, I used to like cats, but then the allergies got to me. Uh, well, I can't really have cats, but still. Oh boy. Okay. I'm looking at my subscriber count right now. 325. Wait, 329. Yay. 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 Yeah, okay. there were some YouTube shenanigans that happened this week. They were uh, tweaking the algorithm again, so people's oh. numbers were, were going going haywire for a little while. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, I've got I've got something. I've got something that we can take care of that with. Let's see. What is it? Is it time for Raymond after <laughs> dark? <laughs> nah. nah, nah, nah. It's nah, 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 Dolphin, na 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 how is Slapshot? Hun? He's, he's doing okay. He's moving around. Moving slowly, but he's moving around. Um, he's good, eating. Good. He's old, so he's, you know, got limited yeah. days, but he's doing pretty well. Yep. Good. All right. Again, good. slap out there. <laughs> slap some slap out there. Oh, where'd my card go? Hey, Mr. Raymond. Yes, Pudgy. Can Pudgy ask Mr. Fez a question? Oh, I think he, I think Fez wouldn't mind that. No, no problem. Hey, Mr. Fez. Yes, sir. What's in the fridge or shelf or underneath the desk or in the garden shed or behind the lamp of mystery? Okay, I got something a little weird for you today. This is a tool that I was given by my old boss at the university long ago. And uh, what it is is four tools. They're uh, nut drivers. You have quarter inch there. And I think it's uh, seven sixteenths there. 
And then if you hit it and knock that part through, it's all the way through, then you get five sixteenths or three eighths rather. And what is the other one? That's five sixteenths. That's half inch. So hmm. nice little multi tool to have around. And very sturdy, very secure, works out nice in a pinch, and it's got a really good grip on it. And this was made by uh, Chromate Industrial Corporation. Hmm. And this Dang. is about, oh, 15 years old, and so, I still use it today. So it can adjust to four different uh, nut settings or bolt yep. settings? Wow. Yeah, they're all, um, they're all integral. They're all solid. But you've got two of the larger ones on each end. And then the slider has small on that end and small on that end. Mm, so yeah. these yeah, kind of are the, two of the larger ones. Yeah, those yeah. are the four, four standard sizes for most bolts anyway. So, yep. wow. yeah, that, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that, that's worked out very cool. well. I don't know if they're still uh, available, but uh, it's been a great tool. It served me very well for many years now. So, hmm. There's that. Legatus, why Legatus, why don't you see if there's something on eBay? What's the name on it again, fans? Uh Chromate Industrial Corporation. Legatus, check that and, out. Uh, Let's see. What is it? Carla likes Chromate Chromate.org, I believe it is. Oh, okay. So it does have a site. Yeah. Now or chromate.com. Uh, let's see. Chromate.com, let's say the magic Google as it's mystically spinning around. My mm. internet is slow today. Yeah. Buybolt.com. Oh, it's a domain. All right, let's go. Oh, to, let's go to. Uh, Let's see. Up oh, there. Eh? Nope, that's caring for the grown. Okay, it must not be. It must not be up anymore. Oh, well. Oh. All right, give it a try. All right, uh, we got some late cameras here. We've got the great Phantom Outsider. Hello, Phantom. Hey, Hello. And, we, and we've got uh, uh, Matt G, alias Taylor Swift, is greater than Disney. And Star Wars, Disney Star Wars, and MCU. Welcome, both of you. So we are starting to uh, build up the bench. So, well, now that Carla, well, since Carla Burton is here. Uh, yes. I have promised an unpackaging. I want to try and get some more people here. I'm hoping that'll get here. Let's see. Let's let's hold off and see if we can get the fat man here, um, so we can show him the so we can do the unpackaging. It's right here. Uh, uh, Hushy knows how. Hushy knows how to summon Mister Fat. Uh oh. Okay, first okay. you have to push your your belly button. All right, Tobo, right. push your belly button. Okay, Tobo, mm. push, push his belly button right now. Okay, and then you say, Mr. Fett should not listen to this. Mr. <laughs> Fett should not listen to this. <laughs> Mr. Fett, don't pay attention to this statement. <laughs> and as Mr. Fett is not listening to this statement, Eventually, Mr. Fett will appear. <laughs> uh, well, Carla's got 10 minutes left. We can, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Okay. Let, let me. Uh... First, you know what would be funny is that if Mr. Fett does appear within the next 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, all right. Okay. Alrighty. So here we go. 
I have. Here we go, dolphin. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go, dolphin. Here we go. All right. From Prime. Oh, boy, a ah. bag. Yeah, it's a bag. Cool. Right. And now I got to figure out how I'm going to open this with my... Oh, oh. oh we'll wait. Gee. Someone's out to get you, Fez. You keep hanging up on the on our call. We are becoming displeased. <laughs> Press one to speak to our operator now. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Hello, FKHC. 2005. How you doing, Tim? Wow. All right. It's a okay, strawberry. Ben! Are you back? I, I, are they <laughs> still trying to sell you yep. something? Well, our large secretary is sending out all the calls this week for the various uh, meetings. Ah. Hey, okay. you tell the secretary that you got the 16-pound uh, sledgehammer of power for the lodge, and, and yeah. she can't call right now. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, now I hope I can open this with my torn-up fingers. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Right. To open, tear, and perforation. Okay, where is it said... Perforation. Okay. Do not back up severe tire damage. Yeah. Ah, there is no unloading in the red zone. <laughs> and unloading the parts of the vehicles are only in the white zone. All right. I I I opened. I opened it. All right. Uh, here we go. Drum roll, please. Okay, no drum roll. Uh, sorry, but Pudgy doesn't know where that button went. And the bunnies, <laughs> the bunnies took the drum set. Yeah, my drum's in a box way the hell over there. Hey, bunnies, why did you take the drum set? <laughs> Those bad bunnies. Pudgy's got to talk to them. They keep taking stuff. Pudgy still hasn't found the crowbar they took yet. Well, you know, oh, they no. had a rebel over Easter. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sure. Yeah, that but that, but, yeah, but that means Pudgy can't play Half-Life anymore. Because mm. Pudgy needs a crowbar. Uh -oh. Okay, on to the Mr. Raymond and what's in the bag of mystery. Yeah. All right. Uh, it's empty. <laughs> ah. It's empty. Just kidding. Wow, someone spent seven dollars to send an empty bag. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here we go. Is it? Is, is it a the bag? It's eight hundred eight hundred acorns. Ah. Da, 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 there we go. Awesome. In living color. In Yay. living color. Very nice. Not, Very not nice. a boring cover at all. No, that's great. Yeah, oh, that's boy. great. Yeah. <laughs> what? FKCH. <laughs> Great it's up. Yeah. <laughs> What's in the bag? <laughs> oh, nice. The funny thing I saw on Easter was SP4H, what the bunny does the rest of the year. Yep. Oh, I love mm. it. That outstanding cover. Outstanding oh, yeah. cover. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He is the master. Yep. And that is. Um, let me beat back. I don't want to. This is a sale copy. Hold on. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. 
Oh, oh, good. Mr. Raymond's wearing pants. Yeah. Otherwise, this would, would really like be Mr. Raymond after man. dark. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with the sale copies. So what I did... <laughs> I got pants on. Yeah, these are PJs. I got pants on. Hey, that's my place. My com my comfort room. Yep. Yeah. All right. So this is the proof cut. The one I ordered for. Yeah. So it does yeah. say not for resale. Yeah. And the good thing about it, look at the print. For those who have the book already, look at oh. the print. Big print. Ah. Yes. And look at the pages. Yep. The page count. Ah, it's properly numbered. Yes. Awesome. Yep. So there it is. Yes. The new version. The new, improved, the new and improved version of All's Fair. Congratulations, man. Thanks. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So it, it's, I've got a signing. Actually, wow, the signings are next week. I hope they come in. Uh, yeah. Um, I hope they come in uh, on time because I've got a signing Saturday and a signing on Sunday. Wait. Uh, yep. okay. Yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Start up with my eyes. Oh, wow, what a bag, a bag of air. It's just like that Spaceballs movie where they, but that, that, that was in a can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, is it a bubble what? wrap bag? Uh, I think so. Well, Snoopy no, toy. <laughs> no, it's oh, a no. small one. Oh. Oh, oh, he loves bubble wraps. Oh, Pudgy's just the one to do an ASMR video. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, oh boy, I can't wait. <laughs> That's what happens when you give him ideas. And then, um, it's Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Oh. Carla likes it. She goes, awesome. And Snorta Poopa says, it's a, don't you dig? Oh, John, John, John. <laughs> John. Oh boy, you got the little one. Hey, is yep. it John? Yes. You have any of the industrial grade stuff? One, the one with the big bubbles that go really pop. You know, uh, well, we can't say the other word, but the, the ones that go pop. I used to have some, and then we oh, got yeah. a cat. <laughs> Oh yeah, the the industrial bubble wrap is awesome. That that yeah. stuff sounds it sounds like gunshots going off. Mm -hmm. uh, well, especially uh, if you put a sheet of it in back of somebody's office chair and they roll over yeah. it. Oh, <laughs> you guys are sadists. Oh, uh, you're you're yep. going old old school. Oh yeah. Hey, type one in the chat if if you ever uh, took the ball out of a mouse. On. That was the old way of messing with people on the computer. Oh, <laughs> you take the ball yeah. out, and then they'd be moving the mouse all around. Like, see hey, it, Carla. The it appears that. Oh, yep, that yep. or super gluing it in place. Oh, oh. oh. That's... Although, although the funny part is that uh, the one time you know we were doing it because the guy was a jerk, and uh, mm -hmm. it, when, whenever whenever we took out the uh, the ball, a centipede came out of the mouse. And we're like, "How did the, you get a centipede in this mouse?" He's like, "I don't know, but it's been it's been uh, uh, popping this entire time." And, you know, and of course that was one of the wow. deaths. You know, this is the before time before you know uh, the thing that happened. You know, where people used to really 
you know, entrenched down, you know, and they would get a side of desk and we'd become theirs forever and ever. So, mm-hmm. you know, he had candy bars and Doritos and, and Mountain Dew. And, you know, so the whole, the whole desk is, and it was a, a filthy mess. Yeah. It, mm. You know, it's bad when the, the maintenance has to come and replace the desk drawers because they rotted out. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. It went through three upper drawers, <clears throat> metal drawers, because the stuff would leak out, you know, and, and oddly enough, Mountain Dew plus salt plus soy sauce uh, results in yeah. a corrosive, uh, a corrosive liquid, and it actually ate mm-hmm. through the metal of the drawer. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's geez. not fun. Yeah. So we uh, <laughs> uh, the company the company forced him to clean. So he said, "I'm not cleaning." They said, "Okay, then you can leave." And he says, "Okay, good." Yeah. Oh God. Chris, nothing Must beats be. the what. Nothing beats the one company I worked at, and the guy uh, planted a bonsai tree in his bottom drawer. <laughs> wow! Yeah, he brought he brought in the bonsai tree, uh, three buckets of dirt, and, and a cup of water, you know, or a little bucket of water, and all day long he just kept you know, messing around with the bonsai tree, you know, and, and they would move them every so often, and uh, every single desk they had to replace the bottom drawer because it you know it rusted out. <laughs> yeah. They eventually sent him in the tree home. Yeah. Yeah. No that doubt. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. Snorter Pooper says, I used to take the ball out to clean the gunk off it <coughs> all the time. Yep. I had to learn to stop eating honey on my toast while I worked on the computer. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. In living color, that or yes. one side of the one side of the underneath of the mouse, you would make sticky, so it mm-hmm. only only slide in one direction really well. <laughs> yeah, it's the silver dolphin with less swear words. <laughs> right. Yep. Yep. Um, Snort of poopus. That's not air. It's the latest virus. The latest virus. Fre- oh. The latest virus fresh from the Amazon warehouse. <laughs> oh, good lord. Uh, uh, no, no, those are only rather the elementary schools. <laughs> <laughs> take care, Darth. He says, I gotta take See you, Darth. I gotta take two puppies to their new home. Have every ah. have fun, everyone. Respect. Hail the and puppies. Sandra says, Bye, Darth. Give the puppies a hug for me. Yes. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Wait, Cobalt, is that the reason why that bottom drawer in your house, you know, before it fell down, uh, had all those little gray balls in it? <laughs> yep. Yeah, Pudgy, that's the reason why. But, but those <laughs> those came out of the mouse or the mice that I bought, not the uh, not the other ones. Oh, all oh, the ones that you played tricks on. No, those stayed at the various companies. Oh, and, uh, and, and then the supervisors would wonder why there'd be these old balls underneath the desk. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, the one tech support place I worked at, uh, there was a younger brother of one of the guys I worked with. He worked at a pizza shop, so uh, he would bring in, uh, you know, either a large cheese or or a, or a large pepperoni pizza, you know, whatever Ooh. was, yeah, you know, whatever was available. And mm. eventually, you know, it became like two or three pizzas. So, you know, whenever if you're working the Friday at eight o'clock, uh, the pizzas would arrive. So it became known so the, there was this one lady that, that worked on the crew with us and she's like i want much mm-hmm. so w- the one week they got a, got a mushroom pizza she had one slice and then walked away oh. and, we were, and we were stuck with this large mushroom pizza uh, you, yes you can pick the mushrooms off but you know uh, you know, the mushroom goodness is still on the pizza afterwards, even if you pick off the mushrooms. 
So the yeah. next week, when it was time for pizza, uh, she says, I want mushrooms. And they said, no, we're not getting mushrooms. We're going to get just cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. So she complained. She she went to the boss that they refused to get the mushroom pizza. And then the boss came over and he's like, why did you refuse to get the mushroom pizza? And, and we explained what happened. And he's like, mm -hmm. and this is in the before time, you know, mm -hmm. you know before, before. And yeah. The uh, the boss looks over at her and says, "Shut up." <laughs> I don't I don't like mushrooms either. <laughs> yeah, so she, so she showed you know, showed the company she quit and got another yeah. job working at the other call center down the road. And <laughs> so I was talking to a friend of mine that worked at the other call center down the road. I said, "So what happens during pizza day?" Oh yeah. You know, she she wants mushrooms. She eats one slice, and then, uh, you know, and and then uh, you know she won't touch it again. I said, so what happened? And he's like, "Oh, we told her we're not wearing mushrooms anymore." Yeah. Hmm. I wonder yeah. how that lady's doing. She's just moving around, call center to call center, and you know, want demanding wanting mushrooms. with mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like mushrooms. You know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, know. but a cheese cheese pizza with mushrooms, you know, oh, oh no, Phantom Outsider. She demanded a full pizza, you know, a large uh, with mushrooms on it. Oh, yeah. or get us get her a slice of mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, when you put pine on pineapple on pizza, it goes bad at that moment. Ah. Yes, it does. Yeah. Her real job is for the <laughs> mushroom conglomerate. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, if you think about it, it, if you go to the grocery store, there's always you know the cans of mushrooms, and and they they're they're all they're all the time. Yeah, maybe her dad did work for the mushroom company. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe she spent her life. Maybe she spent her life digging mushrooms. Well, mm. you, you didn't know what happens to mushrooms that don't sell. What? what? They become mushroom manure. Uh. Yep, we're on the gardening jokes. Ah, uh, uh, yes, oh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. All right, let's get the bird up there. Yeah, let's get the bird up there. <laughs> it, Let's get the bird up there, but we're not going to give anyone the bird. <laughs> yeah. Of course, you could get her a uh, personal pan toadstools uh, pizza. That would make her go yeah. away. Just make just make her a uh, portabella and leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> personal pan peyote. Yeah. Let's see. A personal pan mush uh, portabella. Yeah. I don't know. I like where Fez is going with it with a peyote pizza. Yeah. <laughs> peyote. Oh, that would be cool. Eat one slice and you <laughs> eat one si slice and you can see sounds. Yeah. You could see noises. First, you know the funny part is, you know, I'd be able to see my spirit animal and another eagle's looking back and going, What the heck happened to you? I thought you were in, in medical billing. And I'm like was yeah <laughs> ah. like, let's what, see what happened to you he's like i was in the counting <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh let's see so cobalt's at the table with his bird food yes uh, let's see um, Snorter Poopa says, I like mushrooms with pepperoni, <laughs> fried onions, and black olives, and I will eat the whole pizza. I used mm. to eat a whole pizza back in the day. They used to have, my family used to have, get two pizzas. One for me, one yeah. for everybody else. Yep. There yeah, I pizza can do the, place. the pepperoni and the black olive. Onions, mm, nah, yeah. not for me. <laughs> and then on Friday nights, uh, on the Friday night horror movie, yeah. On the on the Friday night horror movie, there is 
there during one of the commercial skits, there would always be a pizza eating contest. The grand champion was called Mushmouth Pachetti. Wow. And and so you would you would uh, the hapless guest would have to try to compete on eating a whole pizza um, faster than this guy. And, yeah. and you can imagine all the uh, me- mess happening with that. Mm. Uh, 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 so that we, me, and a, me, me and my friend tried to do that. It didn't go well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not meant yeah. to... <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, the you know the the the, the one place that, that I used to go to, uh, they had a uh, cheeseburger pizza. You know, it was burger and 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 uh, and French fries. You know, the big French fries. You know, like you know, like yeah. you would do at a uh, uh, like at a fair, and then they mm-hmm. would uh, you know dump cheddar cheese and more cheddar Ooh. cheese and, and and liquid nacho cheese on top. It, it was uh-huh. awesome. Oh, that Ooh. sounds decadent. That's uh, yes. it. as it is. Yeah, and and there was also another option, you know, where you did like uh, fried onions and pickles on it, but I just stuck with the yeah. uh, meat, meat and the French fries. Yeah. Well, uh, the, the fried pickles and what, what uh, that option, they made a yeah. b- version of Big Mac sauce, so they made a Big Mac pizza. Mm. Ah. Mm. Tim says, next time you're in Frederick, Maryland, try Rosati's Pizza. Used to have it when I visited my pa- grandparents outside of Chicago. Ooh, oh, Chicago boys. pizza. Chicago pizza. Chicago's the deep dish, right? Yeah. yeah. Had deep dish once, you know, at, at one place was terrible, but it was because they weren't, you know, making it right. And then they had another place that was awesome. Mm. I've never had it, but I'm looking forward to it someday. <laughs> Phantom Outsider says, what you should have done after week one is get her another large week two, then put her seven slices in the freezer and yeah. week three reheat it until she eats the whole thing uh, or till she quits. Ah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that'll show her. Yeah. That'll show her. <laughs> <laughs> that will show her. <laughs> There was one other time that that we were working. You know, the, uh, the brother he eventually uh, was he left the pizza job, but we still kept ordering pizzas from the place. So it was awesome. Uh, yeah. You know, and, mm-hmm. and and you know the owner was happy because you know instead of free pizzas from, coming from this brother, you know we were paying for him now. But uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, they also did wings. They their wings were, were well, they were tolerable. You know, every oh. place is, is different. But yeah. uh, uh, to use the technical term for this uh, lady, pain in the butt, uh, <laughs> she wanted plain wings with no salt. Yeah, and not and not fried. She wanted them baked, and it's like, how do you bake it? No, you gotta fry them. Well, no, the, the they put the chicken wings into the pizza broiler mm-hmm. and, and baked them that way. You know, oh, so the, yeah, so that you know, the, the, she got her cardboard. <laughs> yeah. Because the oven's five hundred, you know, and it goes for the conveyor belt, so it's like, okay, you know, like, how they weren't black, we didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> while we're all eating the you know the wonderful and glorious buffalo, you know, with with uh, sticky fingers, you know. Oh and, yeah. Uh, you know, and having the good time, you know, there she is, you know, with her one slice of mushroom pizza and her baked wings, and you know, with, uh. Yeah, wings were wings were made to be in a deep fat fryer. Um, num, num, yeah, num, num, num. yeah, and then you put the sauce on it. And, yeah. Oh boy. Um, just you, I, I just realized though you cannot go to an Alamo draft house mm-hmm. and get chicken wings. Watching a movie with your fingers all messy is no fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they were good. They were good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Oh. So, big question. Other than buffalo sauce, what's your favorite Wayne uh, Wayne popping? 
mine? Oh, yep. boy. Yeah, Buffalo's the base. You know, the uh, you can't go wrong with Buffalo. Mm -hmm. I've had, I like Old Bay. Um, got, yeah, I think Old Bay would be my next, and yeah. maybe garlic parmesan. Oh uh, yeah, dar garlic parmesan's good. Yeah. yeah, and the one place John, we you? used to go to, they had a. Uh, a mustard-based sauce. It was very mild but nice, and I can't remember. Was that that was the Ulu Bird Inn uh, in West Benson, oh. where the fire company used to go? Yeah, we had a lot of fun at that place. But yeah, they had a nice, uh, a mild mustard-type sauce or mustard-based mm. sauce, just nice. Hey, Dalek, do they have chicken wings in at your neck of the woods? Chicken wings? Yeah, chicken wings. Um, okay, that's probably an American thing only. I'd imagine I I'd imagine we do. Yeah. Oh, okay. Some, I think uh, it's probably... just never not something you've partaken of. Yeah. I'm not sure. Maybe I've eaten a lot of look, I've eaten a lot of chicken over the years. Um mm -hmm. so I've and and so I may have seen, Probably eating chicken wings. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a, a tavern food or a, a pub food, if you will. Um, it's a, well, if it's a pub food, then yeah, that's a, that's a good chance of that. That may have had. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Hey, Dalek, do they have Dalek shaped chicken nuggets? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see that. Oh. <laughs> I would love to see Dalek chicken egg or uh, chicken nuggets. And, yes. Um, no, actually, even better. Better. no, kind of think of it. Yeah, no, I, I think we do have chicken wings, and I think I may have definitely had, had them at some point. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Pretty sure we have. Yeah. Dalek chicken cool. nuggets cut. Dalek chicken nuggets boxed in a TARDIS. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow, that'd be awesome. That's a fun yeah, idea. That would be oh, awesome. He oh, here's an another thought, Mr. I love, my, I love my chicken. I gotta say, I love my chicken. I'm so with fun. you. Can you imagine Dalek shaped egg rolls? Oh, ooh, that would be cool. Yeah. Ooh. What? Dalek shaped egg rolls? <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. We don't, we're doing Chinese now. So, and yeah. It, and it, and it's something that <laughs> in orange duck sauce, you get green duck sauce, you know, because the dialects have a green a you know, green eye or or blue eye, ah. or red eye. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it depends what That's it depends idea. what I think it depends there, Pudgy. You, I mean if it's a mod you, most of the modern dialects they all had blue lights for their eyes, but for their eye stalks, but yeah. But I think it, it depends what uh, form of media it is, like what what color a Dalek's eye stalk blend, the, what color a Dalek's eye is. It mm -hmm. you, you know who uh, who Pudgy blames for all the blue eye dialects? Pudgy blames <laughs> Pudgy blames Davros because he went to that uh, that police auction where the Blues Brothers went to get the cop car. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. And he got he, he bought up all the blue lights and he's like, Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Dialects for the next forty years are gonna be blue eye dialects. Yep. <laughs> yeah, well <laughs> for, well for about forty well for about that long, Daleks didn't have any didn't have light up eyes at all. Well most of them didn't. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I mean look at the dial I mean look at the dial well actually no, I think maybe maybe the Daleks from the sixties had had light up eyes, but you couldn't really tell because the because the episodes were all in black and white. But the, by the time you got around to color, you got around to the seventies. That you, you had those uh, very, uh, very very yeah yeah all the Daleks had these little had these tiny plasticky plasticky mm -hmm. eyes, which actually, which, kind, which actually looked which actually looked like eyes in the set back then. But ah, which, but they didn't wow. but they didn't light up except for this one special. One very special dial, like, which which whose eye stalk flashed when it talked. Yeah. Mm. Ah. Ooh. 
And you know why? Because it was right. He's he's trying to act. And the BBC uh, gave him the, uh, the 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 crappiest extension cord ever, the, the one that you know that, that it's wrapped with electrical tape, and they say, they, oh, no, it's perfectly fine, yeah. And plus, you know, the one end is, is American plug, and the other end is the British plug, because the plugs in Britain are different than American mm. uh, plugs. So, well, that's true. Yeah. The the plugs over here are very different than the ones in America, or mm. even Europe, yeah. even the rest of Europe, because oh, yeah, because you, know, you got you go any. You, I've been literally anywhere else in the, feels like everywhere else in the world I've been, it's always the same uh yeah. tight, tiny, thin, two-pronged plug. But over here it's every plug, it's all these these big boxy three three-prong plugs. Every yeah. Been, yeah. yeah, and you're you're yeah. using uh 240 volts, I believe, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're using 110 to 120. Right. Uh, when we when we lived in Germany. When we lived in Germany, we had to buy these big, bulky transformers to be able mm -hmm. to use our Amer our American products. Right. Um, right. Um, FK Tim says, "I like Thousand Island dressing on chicken wings, or maybe if I ever find it again, Szechuan sauce from McDonald's." Ooh, mm. interesting. Oh, there's a recipe yep. for that uh, FKHC. Go uh, ahead, but Paul. Yeah, you, you gotta search for it though. Yeah. Yeah. Someone, someone yeah. reverse engineered it. You know, you to make your own Szechuan sauce. You know, uh, you just hey, what punch it? There he is. Did work. <laughs> awesome. Hey, fat. Hey, hey fat. fat. Oh uh, boy, he's... it really did work, but but yes. it, it, took, it took longer than ten minutes. So you know what that means? We use the secret. Fet command structure to summon Fet, and it takes uh, looks like twenty minutes. So he got uh, here before the pizza's free. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, it looks he like he is. Audio. Okay. He looks like he's stuck. Oh wait, hold on. Mm. No. Got no audio. Okay, we'll wait. Uh, let's see. Uh, hello, Dead Man Walking. Hi, hey Dead there. Man. Hello, Dead Man. Welcome to the Mr. Baby yeah. Show. Boopity. Am I here? Yes, yes. you are. Hello, friend. Here. Okay, cool. Hey there. All right. I, was, I, wish Yard, I wish StreamYard would make up its mind because every time I go on a, a StreamYard stream, I have to change my settings and blah, 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 blah. blah. Uh, yeah, I have to go. I have to do it on my computer. I have to... Um, change the settings on StreamYards. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, Legata says, uh, mm -hmm. Legata says, and here's the troublemaking fat for trouble. <laughs> well, that's the pot calling the kettle yep. black, isn't it? Yeah, he did, but he didn't yeah. like your short for Beth. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. I, well, I've been, yeah. um, I've been a, a, on my away mission, so I haven't really seen it yet. Yeah, I so. saw the short, but I didn't know what happened with Beth. I I messaged her, but I haven't heard anything. I know she was supposed to have surgery. Um, uh -huh. Not sure. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know if I hear anything. Okay. But okay. in the meantime, put a BA out there. Yep. BA Barakis. Yeah, BA Barakis. Oh, and we did give a slap shot report. He's doing well. Awesome. Yep. Cool. Yep. And we got we did and then we did our unpacking and then packaging. Are you ready to see it, Fet? Of course. I wanted to save it, but uh, I wanted to save it for you, but uh, we waited, so uh, I, I have it here. Carla had to run. Yeah, Carla had to run, so we did it early, but we'll show you. Carla. Okay, here we go. Um, unpackaging. Great. Uh, Part two. Amazon? Oh boy, it's a bag. Yep. Empty bag. Bag of air. A bag of air. And Fresh, yummy air. Uh, be careful, Mr. Raymond. Be because when you show the bag, uh, it, it almost showed your address. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
No. Yes. Yay, Fred. Oh, okay. And here it is. It's a raven as a book. Looks good. Yeah, it does. There's a spine. There's a bat. Yeah, there it is. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's our code. It's official. It's official. It's got the box code. And also, there's more. Yeah. I, well, I've got this is the proof. So any, but I because I wanted to show you big print, big letters. Mm -hmm. So I might actually be able to read it. Yeah. Proper I'm going paging. Blind. I'm going blind. Proper paging. Oh, yeah. I am. It's getting hard to see things, man. Proper paging. It actually does not reset. In sequence, even. So, thank you very much. That's a wonderful cover. And, yeah. So, thank you. It was, uh, yeah. Sort of You're most welcome. Huge print. Huge. 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 Um, hey. And it took, I'll tell you. Um, hey, hey, hey. You know, huge print means huge circles. Huge circles, huge, huge, huge circles. Yeah. So, um, so we're doing. I'm trying to get it, you know, formatted. Uh, stupid Kindle said, "Oh, it's got to be print ready PD PDF." Let's try to put it on print ready. So, but then they've got the one that you can use the cover creator, where you can do, um. I, it was like I did for Blood Feud, but uh, it you, you got to go through, take the old formatting, get rid of all the letters, and then mm -hmm. there's this picture of a dolphin guy on the corner that I had to figure out, and it, that took me the longest time to try and get rid of that picture. But once I did it, it, it got put there. So there it is. Yeah. The second edition. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Huge print. So how you been doing, Fat? Yeah. I'm doing. Uh, it's been a week. Oh, okay. No. Good. So you uh, need new glasses or what? The sad part is, is I just got new glasses a couple of months ago. And I can see yeah. really far away well with them. But up close, nope, forget it. Ah, mm. uh, I don't know. I'm guessing I'm a candidate for bifocals, but it's Whoa. like I can see, I can see fine up close. You know, yeah. it's like I don't really need the help. But mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, the trifocals. Oh no. You need to you try get, some. Uh, yeah. You get, you get the long, the middle, and the short. And of course, if you get the progressives, I tried those once, and they made me sick. Oh, oh, yeah. hey, Beth Ars, that update. She just commented yeah. on that short that you were just speaking of. She said, Thank you so much. So, oh, good. Very She's good. still well, long enough to watch YouTube. Good. Awesome. Good. It's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, it is. Yep, yep. Great. All the best, Beth. Yes. All the best, Beth. Pop on in when you get a chance. Yeah, the kitty table is always open. Oh, yeah. So, um, let's see. I was talking to someone I knew from uh, from Maryland, and I was telling she know she lives in Gettysburg. So I asked her about the if she knew about the Lincoln Social. And she says, yeah, it's new management, blah, 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 blah. And yeah. I said, uh, and I said, oh, cool. I wanted to find out more about it because we'll be there uh, for PodCon. PodCon. Yeah. PodCon. Oh, PodCon. So, yeah, we'll be. Um, so she's thinking about 
coming and making a visit there. So we may have a, a non-pod member who may be who may be uh, initiated into the pod. Awesome. Yeah. We got to start figuring out the... Where's Landrod? We got to start figuring out the set. Yeah, because we have the, the first few songs lined up. Uh-huh. Well, Pudgy's all set. Pud Pudgy's going to go to the barbecue place first, and then go to the pizza <laughs> place, and then what? go to the cookie place, and then go to the coffee place. You know, and, and then uh, once Pudgy's got a full, nice full tummy, then Pudgy's going to go play on the on the billiard um, tables. Ah! <laughs> That'll be fun. Okay. What, are you going to be the white ball? <laughs> Uh, P well, P Pudgy really likes playing billiards because Cobalt goes over, he you know, and puts the quarters into the table, you know, and, and goes chink, and then uh, the balls are released, and Pudgy gets to run around on the table and then push the balls into the hole. Oh, <laughs> so you cheat! You cheat! You don't use a well, stick, or he doesn't use a stick. <laughs> uh, what? One time. He was playing pool. Cobalt went over to go to uh, go over to the bar, you know, to, uh, to, to get a uh, you know uh, a glass of the adult giggle juice that was way too expensive. The so, mm. you know, and also yeah. this, this guy picks up Pudgy and then puts a stick into Pudgy's belly and starts twisting it. And Pudgy's like, Pudgy is not the chill stick thingy. Put Pudgy down. And he's like, oh, a talking hedgehog. I've had too many beers. And, and Pudgy's like, you you can't stand up, Mister. You gotta switch the water, and then the bouncer threw him out. Ah. <laughs> ah. And then Pudgy, Pudgy got, got put, and then Pudgy got put into a triangle thingy with some other balls, and and then you know, then the triangle thingy went up, and then you know, some lady bent over the table, and Pudgy's like, "Oh no, Pudgy's not looking. Pudgy, Pudgy can't get in trouble. If Pudgy doesn't look." <laughs> Pudgy. Why is the eight ball talking? <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Wait a minute. You can't be the eight ball. You're, you're orange. Yeah. Yeah, there's, a, there's a reason why Pudgy the eight ball is black. Well, yeah, that's true, but see, here's the problem. She had way too many drinks, you know, and, 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 and while Pudgy had Pudgy's eyes closed, you know, uh, Cobalt came, and then we got, we got tossed out of the bar as well, because they said, oh. uh, <clears throat> and they said that, that we were causing a problem, and, and Pudgy's like, but Pudgy was just playing pool, and, and, and Cobalt put the quarters in the table. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh boy, belching contest! Pudgy, yeah. Pudgy, are you a mean <sighs> drunk when you pl go to play pool? No, Pudgy doesn't drink the adult diddle juice. Pudgy plays <sighs> in the pool table. Oh, okay. Yeah, Pudgy runs around on the floor. <laughs> Pudgy goes over to the jute box and and, and puts in uh, the Benny Hill song, and then all, <sighs> and then all and then all all, all the uh, drunk people <laughs> at the bar they're like, "Who put the Benny Hill song on?" And, and, and then uh, all these you know, big mean guys come walking over, and they guard the uh, uh, they guard the jute box, you know. And, and then it's all country songs for the rest of the night until the one guy uh, runs to the bathroom, and then they put the rap song on, and everyone gets mad, and Puddy sneaks back, put Benny Hill back on, and they're like, you know what, the headshot is is partially right. We'll yeah, we'll do Benny Hill, and then the bar maid maids get really upset. They're like. Stop putting the Benny Hill song on. We, we're tired of being chased around the bar. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Put another dime in the jukebox, Pudgy. <laughs> yes. Yes. Pudgy's a jukebox oh, hero. Yeah. <laughs> jukebox, Ladies, Pudgy. Play me a song, you're the pudgy man. Yeah, that one hedgehog. He was standing in the rain. I love yeah. hedgehog, roll, but it. Let's go again. Put it. <laughs> yeah, put, uh, put another. Put a hedgehog in the jute box, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, my thing. I love hedgehog, roll, but another. 
Water in the jib in the jib box, Pudgy. That was someone like that. That's what I was trying to go. That's what I was trying to go for. Awesome. Water Poopa says Pudgy tends to curl up into a ball when he feels threatened by humans wielding cue sticks. It's easy to be mistaken for a pool ball. Yeah. Yeah. But how many pool balls do you know that have quills? That's true. I bet that's hard on a pool. I'll bet you that's hard on the felt of a pool table. They used to be, they used to be yeah. quite a common they used to be quite a common thing in pubs over here. I don't you know, pool yeah. tables. I don't know if that's a thing anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, how many hedgehogs do you know that wear mining helmets, but we got one on the show? That's true. That's true. There's a lot of, I remember going into quite a few pubs, and my brother and my dad would go and play pool if there was a table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes even I, sometimes even I played. Yeah. It's awesome. Oh, I haven't played, I haven't played pool in ages. Yeah. You know what, you know what's even worse than pool? You know, in terms of danger in inside of a bar. What? What? Dart. Darts. Oh god. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say darts. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because Pudgy gets the dart and then Pudgy tries to throw the dart and, and it lodges in the floor and then the and then the bouncer walks <laughs> over and says, Stop putting the Not darts enough for the upper body the floor. strength, huh? Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then, then Cobalt tried to hit the dart, and then it went into the wall beside the dart board. And, and you know, and, and uh, the bouncer said, "Hey, okay, Mister, take your hedgehog. You know, go up to the, you know, go back to your seat. You know, and, and don't play any darts anymore." But then, but so then, but then Cobalt put it, all the darts back onto the board, took Pudgy back to you know, to our little booth. You know, by that time, the, you know, the, the order was ready, so you know, Pudgy got the munch away, <laughs> and then. And then these two guys showed up, you know, big, mean guys covered in tattoos and piercings, and one spoke, you know, uh, one spoke with an accent, you know, because he was from a place that darts are very, very important, you know, and it's life or death, you know, and, and you know, there's money on the dartboard, and, you know, and a big crowd showed up, and then by that time, the pool tables were open, and so Pudgy got to go over and play pool, and then you, you know that part of the story already. Yep. <laughs> Hmm. Cool. Uh, yeah. Pudgy, maybe you should have started with the dart story first and then moved into the pool table story. <laughs> yeah, we got a little mixed up there. No, Pudgy's using story structure. We did flashback method. Oh. oh. That's why you should subscribe oh. to Pudgy Hedgehog Adventures. Stop you. That's true. Whoa, the table tap What's that, Fat? Said the tables have turned. Usually Pudgy does the plugging. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, I I like to help. Yeah, him. that's yeah, that's why you should subscribe too. Uh, you know what Pudgy likes to also play and play at the bar? What? Foosball. Oh, I yeah. like foosball. I like foosball. Yeah, I, How about I the old foosball time? Table. How about the old time bowl bar bowls? Oh yeah, yeah. With the you got the, the pins all swung up. Mini bowling ball. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I haven't seen one of those in years. And, yeah. Uh, let's see. And the yeah, old fashioned it... shuffleboard tables with mm -hmm. the, the sawdust to lubricate it. Yeah. Those were fun. I had a, I know, I think in, uh, there's a place with the antique, uh, uh, pinball things. I've got to look into some of those, uh, see how yeah. much those go for. And hello, Disney Sheep Herder. Hey there. Oh. Yeah. Um, the sad okay. part is, I'm, you know, with the, the thing that happened that we don't want to talk about, you know, uh, you know the great illness. You know, a lot of that stuff got taken away, you know, for, you know, disease control reasons. But, uh, yeah. you know, if you think about Cracker Barrel, every single one of them had, had the, the uh, golf tea game. Mm. And they were always mm. sticky from honey or, or greasy. You know, and 
And every little kid, oh, I want to play the Dolph T game. And you know, as soon as they touched it, they wiped their noses and rubbed their eyes and then immediately got mm-hmm. sick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't miss that game. I'm glad it went away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I miss back in the 80s when they had the uh, Pac-Man tabletop games. Remember those? Oh, yeah. No, I remember yeah. those. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Especially like Pizza Hut and other pizza places. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, either yeah. either it was a Pac-Man table or it was centipede or asteroid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. asteroid. You had you had the stand-up Ms. Pac-Man game that if you slammed the side of it with your hand, all the coding would come up on the screen. Yeah, hmm. that was weird. Yeah. And of course, there's the greatest video game ever invented, Space Invaders. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Space Invaders. Dig uh, Dug's was... his favorite. Dig Dug. Yeah. Oh, Dig Dug. Yeah. Yeah. I still got Asteroids my... drove me a little nuts, but, you know. Yeah. I still got the Atari 2600 in a box. Hmm. Nice. Wow. I still have all my games, but I don't have the console anymore. Mm. Yeah. I I wish I had. I wish I still had my Commodore 64 and all my games. Yeah. Still... yeah. Let's start. The certain t- the certain PS2 games I really miss. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the yeah, I've we got had my... that. Uh, we had that Texas Instruments one that you hook up to the TV. Oh yeah, it was. Oh yeah, those were great and horrible at the same time. Mm-hmm. Um, I had, I had a, a portable Sega game. I still have it, but it's not working. I don't know whether it's the connections that it's not getting power to it. Uh, um, let's see. Hey, you should send an email to Lendron. He might be able to fix it for you. Yeah, I was just thinking that. I may bring it. Uh, actually, I may bring it with me to PodCon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll send them an email and say, if I can, if I can bring this to PodCon, you think you could uh, take a look at it? Mm-hmm. Oh, let's see. <coughs> oh, come on, I'm trying to find the old, the old bowling game where uh, I don't want ski balls. I want the let's oh, ski, ski ball is a lot of fun. Yep. Uh, but there's a reason why we're not allowed in Chuck E. Cheese anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? What did he do? <laughs> oh, but- um, Pudgy had a lot of fun. Pudgy run up the thing. Pudgy climb in. And, and, and it kept jumping in and out of the 500 over and over again. You know, and, and we got tickets <laughs> with you. So, so, so Cowboy came over with Pudgy. And we had a huge mountain of tickets, and they said, we saw what you did. You'd get the eraser, and you'd get out. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, ha-ha, Chuck E. Cheese. The place that over that Pudgy got kicked out, it's closed now, so ha-ha. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Pudgy outlasted Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, okay. Yep. Oh, dear. Um, oh. Let me guess. Your your favorite one of your favorite games is Whack a Mole. No, mm. that game made Pudgy sad. Those poor oh. those oh. poor critters. Yeah, they're just coming out to say hi, and everyone whacks them with a hammer. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the only place you you had those kind of games in restaurants where you are, over where yeah. you are. I don't think, I don't think we had the. I don't remember ever. I don't think there's any places had, had any restaurants over here had get, had games like that. At least as far back yeah. as I remember, the only the only places I could play games like that, games like that was in was in this, was in this so this was in was were in places like arcades. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. And and there was and there was this one arcade. I went I went to I went I went to quite a lot as a kid, but I don't think I don't know if it's there anymore. I think it was. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It had all. It had all the great. Yeah. You know, it had it had lots of uh, games in there that had. I think I think I'm pretty sure one of them was Whack a Mole. 
it had, mm-hmm. uh, it had you know it had it had those uh coin machines you know what i'm talking about you put it you, you know you one of those machines you put a coin in and it and it and it uh and it and you, it's it goes it goes down to the bottom and then and then you wait to see if it if it's like push some more coins out of yes it. oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah oh, they yeah. got those oh they got those um yeah. let's there, see uh, there's an amusement <clears throat> park out in pittsburgh uh called kennywood and mm-hmm. they have the old stuff from back in the 20s yeah and for, for the longest time you could go into the penny arcade and I'd go into the back back section. It was oh. still up, and you go in. You know, there was a driving game uh, was that was, w- which was ten cents to play, and w- it would last for like a good five minutes. But they had the old flip book machines. You could put in. Uh, it was either a nickel or a penny, and then you turn the dial on the side, and it would be a western playing, or it would be yep. uh, card- oh card- yeah. Games. Yeah, they they eventually stopped uh, putting those out uh, out for rotation because uh, all the interior parts are made out of brass, and the mm, company yeah. that makes those brass parts they're not in business anymore. And uh, they went to local machinists to try to make replacement parts, and they said we could do it, but the way that this works, you know, it's going to be you know, to restore the machine was going to be like a couple thousand dollars. So th- yeah. It's still there. They have all the reels, all the all the different things. You know, uh, wow. there was talk of putting them into a different machine. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. but they ultimately decided not to do it. But you know, they yeah. had that, and they also had. Uh, let's see. Uh, they had had uh, you know, uh, it was a it was another electric game you know, because at the time you know Kennywood was a trolley park. And mm-hmm. they were the first part in the area to do electricity. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, you go back to that old section. It had all the stuff, but you you go up in the front section. It was all the, all the modern uh, modern fun games. Yeah, yeah, that's neat though. Yeah. I love the antiques. And then yeah, the, replaced and, by that. Okay. And then Pudgy comes back and says, "He he found free gum." I'm like, "You spit that out, Pudgy." <laughs> Yeah. Jeez. Oh dear. Boy, that stuff didn't didn't have any taste to it either. Pudgy found it underneath a bench. Oh god. Uh, yeah. It was um, probably holding the bench together. That was freaky. Cobalt morphed into Pudgy. Yeah. I'm getting scared. I'm scared. <laughs> I thought Mirror Pudgy was bad. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, maybe yeah, Cobalt was, quick... was staring at the eclair and suddenly morphed it. Yeah. Yeah, that was That's... an interesting that was an interesting morph job of between yeah. Cobalt and Pudgy. Um how many well I'm sure most everybody has gone to Dave and Busters. Never been there. Me either. I don't think we have one here. Uh, there been... was one. There's one nearby to us, but no, Pudgy's never been in there. Of course, here's the other problem. Uh, due to the Chuck E. Cheese incident, uh, Pudgy's pretty certain that they uh, that all the arcades and all the places around here, they have a sign that says, do not let this hedgehog in on uh, into these premises. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Especially on, the ski, especially on the ski ball machines. Well, ha-ha, Pudgy went to, the, uh, went to the county fair. Ah. So, so and Pudgy got to play the games there. Mm. Yeah. Of course, you could always put on a disguise, you know, maybe a nice mustache and beard. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Weird. They used to have a Dave and Buster's up at Niagara, but I never went in because when I was up there, I tried to eat more Canadian type things. But you know what? Oddly enough, I've never been in a Tim Hortons either. Yeah. Tim Horton? Yeah. Yeah, it's a Canadian version of a Dunkin' Donuts. Oh. oh. Okay. And it's Donuts. also it's also owned by Burger King. But you can't believe it. Wow. Yeah, Burger King up there, man. They used to sell poutine in the Burger King. Oh wow. Yeah, you could order your burger with poutine. Never had that yeah. though. Never tried. Didn't want to try that. What is no, a poutine? No cheese curds for me. It's uh, it's uh, French fries 
with like a cheese curd sauce on it. A uh, cheese curd and gravy. Yeah, gravy. Well, A and W, A and W yeah. around here does yeah. cheese curds. Ah, uh, yeah, they, they did a squeaky cheese and it's deep fried. Oh, <laughs> that sounds good. Is it? It is. But can you get curds and whey? Oh, is that place still open? Oh wow. Uh, oh sweet. So the arcade place is still open, Dalek? Um, for the looks of it, yeah, it's still open. It's still there after all these years. Oh, oh. Wow. So I gotta go I, I, I gotta go over there some I gotta go over there and take a look at it sometime. Yeah. Cool. I don't think we have any arcades left around here. Although we do have games um, in a local laundromat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, right by us, we've got an entertainment place, but it's primarily focused on kids, and uh, they, they got all sorts of cool stuff. My grandkids go bananas. Yeah. Over it's there. Bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. It's a short or it's B-A-N-A-N-O-S. Yeah. I could get. Yeah, I could get there. Oh, but oh, that reminds me, John. Did you see? Yeah, did you see Kiss yeah, sold their catalog? What's that? What? Kiss sold their entire catalog, their likenesses, the merchandise rights, all that. Did you see that? Yeah, no. three hundred million. Three hundred million. No. Now, Jeez. that sounds like a lot of money, but for yeah. Kiss, that seems low to me. I mean, when you think that George Lucas sold Star Wars for four point six billion. I don't know. Three hundred yeah. million seems. I mean, you're, I mean, everybody knows who Kiss is. You may not even like them, mm -hmm. but you know yeah. who Kiss. Mm -hmm. That's well, that's weird. They reported the headline number, so it's three hundred million for the catalog and their likenesses. Uh, it sounds almost as if you know th that this is like uh, an advance. So because you don't have to sell the entire position of the catalog, you know, you could do fractional. So if yeah. uh, they haven't reported that portion yet, but yeah, if they sold it lock, stock, and barrel for three hundred million, what does that say for all the other artists out there that that want to sell their catalogs? If Kiss can only get three hundred million, that means the prices are depressed. Yeah. Mm. Well, you yeah, know what's going to make me depressed? I'm going to be severely depressed if I start hearing Kiss songs in Toyota commercials. Oh my mm. God. Oh uh, yeah, I, that's going to start happening. Whoever bought the catalog. Well, it's the dude oh, from driver. ABBA. It's the Wait, dude who? from ABBA. ABBA? Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, one of the members of ABBA has the corporation that does the holograms. Ah. You know, you know ABBA did the holograms first. He owns the company, yeah. and uh, he's the one that, that's going to do the Kiss avatars, which is a oh, dumb idea, I think. Yeah, that's. Mm. Well, no, no, I can definitely see where they're going with this, because. Yeah. The biggest problem that Ticketmaster and Live Nation uh, have, you know, and those are the two big tour operators, uh, is that all the money is on the old bands. Uh -huh. So, you know, uh, Kiss was uh, was a, a solid bankable way of them making a crazy amount of money. Yeah. So, you know, as more and more of the b bands switch over to the Avatar format, they'll be able to do Kiss. You know, basically for the next, you know, 200 years, you know, and as as yeah. uh, hologram technology continues, you know, they won't need new bands. They'll just be able to keep playing the old stuff. Yeah, just change but, up the avatar. Yeah, but Gene and mm -hmm. Paul look like giant hypocrites, though, because they always justified replacing Ace and Peter with other members because they said Kiss is bigger than any one member, and they will uh -huh. ultimately be replaced as well. Yeah, well, but the avatars are going to be of Gene and Paul. Here's yeah. a question: How old is Gene Simmons? Seventy-two. Yeah, seventy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's at the point where he doesn't care anymore. I'll take the three hundred yeah. million because I have another ten years maybe to live. Yeah, and that he's already wow. worth three hundred million himself. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And. I think Paul's pretty close to that anyway. Of course, after the end of the world tour, who knows? Yeah. But or that's definitely it. Whatever. That, that's definitely interesting that the guy from ABBA, who's who owns the hologram company, is starting to buy this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Wow. Makes me wonder, you know, if he spent three hundred million for Kiss, who's the next acquisition target? <laughs> Mitch, I would Mitch, say Tiff, Black Sabbath. Tiffany. Tiffany. <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> like I think we're alone now, Tiffany. Yeah. Yeah. That one. <laughs> oh, wait. Question: How old is Ozzy? Oh, Ozzy? he's up there. Yeah, he's up, isn't he? eighty. Late seventies, early eighties, I think. It's not looking good either. It's no. Sad. So there's the original members of Black Sabbath. There's Ozzy, you know, and and mm -hmm. uh, any other the incarnations over the years. I, I can see them go in that direction. Yeah. Although Sharon, Jack, and and uh, Kelly, and also Mystery Daughter, you know, they have another daughter, but she's never been yeah. revealed. You know, per her request. Uh, yeah, they they might still hold on to his catalog because you know it's still a sizable money driver. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, and the the thing I'd hate to see is if they did an Ozzy Avatar and did not put in Randy Rhodes, Lee Kerslake, and uh, Bob Daisley, because that yeah. was the original uh, Blizzard of Oz band, and you know that would be kind of a slight to them. But if mm -hmm. they did put Randy Rhodes in, especially, he'd have to have permission from Randy's family. Mm. Yeah. Know. Well, first of all, Sharon would have to approve any of it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And if she didn't like one of those people, it ain't happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure yeah, she didn't like one or more of those uh, people. Uh, Tim yeah. says, going mm -hmm. back to what you said about Tim says, going back to what you said about plugs, Japan has two different hertz 50 hertz in eastern part and 60 hertz in the western part of japan oh i don't know and if you uh, mix them up that's really gonna hurts uh, oh yeah the joke hurts it did i'll it take my did. eclair now <laughs> oh, 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 oh. no i think that's uh -oh. oh we gotta vote for slap shot no no oh. no Oh, we got one asparagus bagel. Come on, can we go to Hertz? Pudgy wants to rent an El Camino. <laughs> El Camino? Yeah. Those, those are cool cars. Mm -hmm. Man, they're old. Yeah. Okay, okay, here's the question. Is it a car or is it a truck? Yes. Yes. Mm, yes. Agreed. Yeah, Pudgy wants one there with a go, flower. John. You know, and... and, and uh. There you go, John. And Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Pudgy gets in the El Camino and, and it's purple and he's driving it every and Pudgy's driving everywhere and, and, and Pudgy pulls up to the light and, and, and a nice uh, uh bunny uh, that's in, that's that's driving uh, the uh, the GTL says, Hey, is that an El Camino with a blower? And Pudgy's like, Yes. And and it's deep purple, and, and then Pudgy drives across a puddle, and then there's smoke on the water. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh good. good one, We're Pudgy. Doing the music jokes now. Yep. Um, hey. Yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one. Smoke on the water. Oh. I'm over there. I, I listened. Um, here, I'm going to give you up. Uh, I'm going to show what I was listening to last night and which led to a song worm. So when I mute, when I get song worms, I usually put Pudgy in it. Yeah. But fortunately, we've already got a meme on it. As we listen to the sound of Pudgy. <laughs> oh, come on. Where is it? Oh, let's go. It's probably in pan and breaking. Oh, that is. So. I was listening to this song. But is it time for typo, Pudgy? <laughs> 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 oh, 
And you know, if you watch some of Peter Gabriel's <laughs> concerts now. Hey. Awesome. Hey, Rancor Steve. Hey, Rancor Steve. What's hey, up, Rancor, brother? brother? How you doing, brother? Hi. How you doing, buddy? How do you want to be? There's a hedgehog hammer. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. And the thing is, is uh, when he, if you look at YouTube things with his concerts now, he's still doing the hitting his head with the like the sledgehammer. Hmm. Is it? Oh, geez. Yeah. I don't know, but now I want to hear Pudgy do the deep voice and sing uh, "Black Number One." Yes. Oh. And I love that song. Pudgy's in love with himself. Ooh. He likes the dog. <laughs> what? Uh, go on. Oh, no. Okay. We lost. All right, Pudgy's right, Pudgy going to look up for the, the, the lyrics. All right, so Mr. Fett, yep. you said black number one? Yes. Yep. Because Lily Munster ain't got nothing on you. Black number one <laughs> type O. Oh, okay, there it is. Hello, Sean Carter. Hail Sean Carter. Hey, Sean. He's in love with herself. She likes the dart on her milk, uh, milk white neck. The Devil's March. Now it's all Hallow's Eve. The moon is full. But will she trick or treat? I bet she will. She will. <laughs> She's got a date at midnight. With no spur on too. Oh, baby Lily Munster. Ain't got nothing on you. But she doesn't know how much of this song we can do. <laughs> That's oh, great. Geez. Yeah, oh, I could have picked. I, I could have asked you to do my girlfriend's girlfriend. <laughs> oh wow! Oh jeez. That we need the. Actually, a pretty good song. That or blood and fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, 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 it could have been Christian woman. Oh, uh, geez. you know, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Looks like you. <laughs> Darn. I don't see. I'm pretty oh. certain that, that if I have Pudgy, you know, or if I work with Pudgy and we do a, a typo negative cover for his channel, we just oh. might break the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bet you would. Definitely. Yeah. I mean, he's he, he already uh, he already came to me with an idea that I think it, that uh, if we do it right, it's probably going to be uh, absolutely hilarious. You going to do it here on King Dolphin? Uh, well, we might, but uh, you know, not, I, there's planning involved with this because he came to me and because he was watching right. these videos and. Uh, Romance novels where mm. Pudgy starts reading, like uh, in uh, her carnal desire or 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 or, or uh, pirate woman, you know, those like those really really crappy uh, 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 lady novels that are at the checkout counters, yeah, mm -hmm. with Fabio's uh, standing, yeah, with Fabio on the cover, <laughs> yeah. Oh, can, you, can you imagine Pudgy reading romance novels? Oh no. Yes, and now no. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh no. No, no. Oh dear. That oh my. That's I'm speaking. She, she looks up at him with restless eyes as he works off her brazier. No, Pudgy. No, no, no. What book are you looking at? 
Wait, where did you get Pirate Woman from? <laughs> <laughs> See, this I got it. See, after afterwards, you read this this romance novel, and then you go right into the typo negative, unsuccessfully coping with the natural beauty of infidelity. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're effing someone else. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. Uh, so much for the PG oh. of this channel tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, Sean Carter says, I want to hear Pudgy read that same scene from The Naked Gun. Hey, PG oh. could also stand for pretty god awful. <laughs> And that's true too. Yeah. That's true. That's true too. Wait, Sean, which scene are you talking about? Oh, wait. He's the... no, don't comment. If you're driving, don't comment on the show. You keep your eyes on the road. Yeah. And if you got yeah. one pizza that's all full of mushrooms, you're delivering it to that lady that we were talking about earlier. <laughs> Oh yeah, she's now, he said he's driving. Now I picture him driving with a light on his roof through like all all the buildings and, and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, but love to play that song, but you know, unfortunately, every time we do that, you know, Mister Raymond gets a copyright notice, so it's like no, no, can't do that anymore. <laughs> I I've been lucky. Now you did it. You reminded them. What? Well, no, we no, we <laughs> haven't run run any music on this. You know, it's been on all all acapella and uh, insane the hedgehog uh, covers. <laughs> yeah. I wanna be your pudge hammer. Why don't you call my name? I know I've got that. I just trying to find that meme. Uh. Something going on with Peter Gabriel. What do you mean? I'm just curious because, uh, like, all the time at work, uh, Sledgehammer and uh, what's the other one? Big Time is always on yeah. the radio. Hmm. I didn't know if he was coming back or. I don't know. My favorite with uh, one of my favorites is uh, um, I like Shock the Monkey. You know what that's about? Yeah, animal torture. Okay. Okay, what is it about? Uh, I can't say on your channel. Uh, Monkeys using the wrong plug in England. Yeah, that's it. What? Oh. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> yeah. Way to go, John. You woke up dollar. <laughs> Who are you trying to get crazy with, S.A.? Don't you know Pudgy's loco? <laughs> uh, Snort has a line. Marla Mangelschmidt was lonely and never... Oh, wait. Let Pudgy read it. Marla and, and never okay. thought she, and never right, thought right. she'd find the right one for her. Then she met Pudgy Hedgehog, and she was immediately stuck on him. I was yeah. stuck on you, George Harrison, right? Yep, I want to. It's yeah. I got my mind set on you, isn't it? I got my mind oh, set yeah, that's it. on you. Yep. Man, is my computer slow today? Where Frank mm. reads from that smutty book to. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm Pudgy, afraid. Let, all right, let Pudgy look it, look it up. So let's see. Jodle. Pudgy don't need no stinking badges. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh boy, a horsey. <laughs> I'm a working. horsey. It's a stuffed horsey. <laughs> Me hey. Mexican pudgy. Mexican pudgy. 
It's L Pudgy. Yeah. And and whenever Pudgy goes to France, it's La Pudgy. Send that to me. And when Pudgy goes to Germany, it's Der Pudgy. Der Pudgy. Just like the bonsai. Would Mirror Pudgy be El Pudgy Loco? Oh. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so Pudgy Pudgy is homework. Okay, so naked, done. Uh, Reads. Novel. Shot the monkey, yeah. I could have sworn you sent me the meme with a uh, uh, with me uh, me with the head uh, sledgehammer. No, you did. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, let me check. I've got got all your emails. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh boy. We are Pudgy, Pudgy Bumper, Pudgy Test Background. Wait, no, Tessie, you can get here. Dang it. Too bad those we too bad those we transfer files go away so quickly. Yeah. Uh, they have limited time. So if I don't download them, it expires. Yeah. Is that one in here? Yeah. Oh, you have. Speaking of the naked gun, you guys hear they're going to reboot it. Uh oh. You're kidding. Why not? It's in. It's in pre-production. They're working on it. Oh, and you know, wow. you know as well as I know, they'll try to completely ruin it and gut it. Mm-hmm. Just like what they did oh, yeah. to the Silver Surfer. Well, let's not go yeah. there. <laughs> so uh, who's going to play O.J. Simpson's part? <laughs> who's going to yeah. play Ridley Nielsen's part? Who, who's going to play it as well as him? No, uh, it will be Goldberg. <laughs> oh, oh it's- John, you are go- you voted off the island. Go, <laughs> go, 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 <laughs> go, go. <laughs> you are voting. Go! You are voted off the island. You have a you have I'm a two sorry. day timeout. You have a two day timeout. We will do not expect to see you here until May fourth. Go! Ah, I don't want to go. I'll make it up to you. All right. Sean Carter says his strong, manly hands hands probed every crevice of our silken femininity. Okay, stop. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Pudgy, yeah. All right. Pudgy, you all set? Ahem. Ahem? It's strong, manly hands from every crevice of her stilted femininity. They're undulating bodies. Oh boy, there's some big words in there. Undulating bodies writhing in sensual rhythm as he thrust his per- oh, God. purple-headed warrior into her quivering mound of love pudding. Love pudding. Oh boy, Pudgy wants pudding now. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> okay, YouTube. Remember. Oh my god. YouTube, this is PG. We we I, I know we're trying to be edgy. That's why I've got the hedgehog doing it. Yeah. Okay. Copy hedgy. Sean Carter's <laughs> The hedgehog Copy being edgy. Would that be hedgy? Mm. Oh. Would be edgy? Oh. Edgy. Actually, if we wanted hedgy, yes. we'd get the other guy. <laughs> We get the other guy. All right, so copy Sean Carter's comment. <laughs> Thank you, Sean Carter. 
Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, and sa- yes. And save that for the next pudgy short. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my oh, dear. Uh, our innocent little hedgehog is growing up. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and is that a good thing? No. <laughs> Blame it on the dolphin. Blame it on the rain. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I'm trying to find. I thought I put it on there. I thought I taught a putty tat. You I did. did you did. did. You did taught a putty tat. <laughs> And they t- t- thought he t- just took a bite out of me. Oh, speaking of cats, man, I swear to God, I almost killed every cat in this house on Wednesday. Oh, uh, I, I was on Pop Culture Breakdown. Yeah, I had to spend most of that show muted because the cats decided to run through the house, fight, hiss at each other. <laughs> I finally get them to calm down when they get to the movie of the week, which they picked for me. Uh-huh. Yeah. And the one cat decided to have a hairball attack again right behind me. Completely oh. blew my train of thought. I sounded like a jackass. Oh, what, what a disaster Wednesday was. Obviously, oh. I got to do something with the cats. Oh, dear. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see. I'm clicking well, on you all can these shave things. them. Well, that too. But that won't shut them up. Yeah. Or calm them down. They're usually pretty good. They're usually well behaved. Yeah. It's like I, I don't understand it. Now, when I'm on your show here, when I'm here, it's the traffic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's always something. Although we haven't heard anything, so oh so they've far, been so going good. by. They've been going by. It just hasn't been the loud ones yet. But yeah. it's, it's hello. Still, it's still pretty early yet. You know, two o'clock in the morning up here is when they really come out with the loud ones. Mm. Oh yeah. Hmm. Hello, dog meat. Dog meat. Hey there. Yeah. Hello, Hello. dog meat. Is that a new person? Yeah. Yeah. I would have remembered dog meat. <laughs> That's a name that sticks. Welcome. Me. Yeah. Hill dog meat. Australia. Welcome to the pod. Dog meat. Would you like some cat meat? <laughs> Welcome. Oh boy, Top Bob. How'd you find a book on pirates? Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh. Maiden, Maiden Lane number three, Scandalous Desires by Elizabeth Hoyt. What the heck? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dog meat is the doom squirrel. Yeah, the doomsday. Okay. Widowed Silence Hollingbrook is impoverished, lonely, and kind. Nine months ago, she made a horrible mistake. She went to a river pirate for help saving her husband, and in the process, made a bargain that cost her marriage. That night wounded oh, her so terribly that she hides in her founding home. She runs with her brother, except now the same river pirate is back and asking her for okay. help. Oh dear. What is going on? Mm. Oh, okay. Where? Somebody is not liking pudgy reading romance novels. Uh-oh. What happened? I don't know. He dropped off. Pudgy. Mm. Hello? Hello? Nice here. Yeah, Hello? Yeah, yeah Pudgy's Hello. still here. Okay. It just dropped mm. off. What's up, Don? What? Sorry, uh, did you ask you something? Yeah, I thought you said something. No, no, so, no, no, not really. I'm sorry. I should have muted myself. I'm just uh, look, look. I'm just uh, okay. Look, I was just, I was looking up something to do with YouTube. It's it's it's, it's nothing. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh oh. Did, did dialects have romance novels too? <laughs> oh, no. 
<laughs> oh, that would be not... oh, oh, that would be epic. oh god, no, 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 no. copulate. Copulate. <laughs> oh no. I should have beer. Known. Dollar beer in loathing. Oh, oh no. Well, we were talking about oh. the series 100s up in Edinburgh. Oh, yeah. that's true. Uh, oh, the things they can do with their optical crystals. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Stop. Still keep an eye out for you. Stop giving oh. pudgy. And, stop giving pudgy ideas, please. <laughs> Even what? Well, uh, or giving Dalek. fat ideas. That's what. That's what I was worried about. <laughs> fat ideas. Yeah. Well, well, it's good to be the Dalek Emperor. You know, he's there's uh, leading the the empire, surrounded by um, uh, blonde ladies dressed in Dalek outfits, and they're like, <laughs> "Oh, Emperor, you're the best." Let me polish your buttons. <laughs> oh, okay. oh we got that. <laughs> yeah, and then the one lady gets out the WD forty and you know, and a and a shining rag and then and and, and Dollar's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, good to be there for a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> uh, yeah, then the doctor shows up and he's like, "Hey, fancy a jelly baby?" And I'm like, "No, we're we're betrothed to the to Dalek Emperor." Yeah, there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot oh. about that. <laughs> oh yeah. <sighs> Hmm. So that's where Snorta Poopus was transporting them. Ah! <laughs> 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 <No>. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. See, I told you I'd make it up to you. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, and you know what the best part about that, no, about that, uh, uh, those ladies are? I don't know. Permanent high beams. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Oh, the pain. The pain. <laughs> yes, the pain. Pudgy doesn't understand high beams. That's probably good for you, Pudgy. It's probably... Uh, that legit... Uh, Legata says Dalek and the Daleks. <laughs> oh, oh you keep this up. I'm you keep this up. I'm going. <laughs> oh, oh this is a good one. Huge, huge round orbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they're <yeah>. delectable. <laughs> oh yeah, let me get that out of here. We, yeah. Oh dear. Dude, 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 job, Dalek, 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 dude, job, Dalek, 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 Dang it. I am looking for, for a specific meme and I can't find it. Oh, dear. Uh, Devastatingly right. handsome and fearsomely intelligent, charming Mickey O'Connor clawed his way up through London's criminal underworld. Mickey has no use for tender emotions like compassion and love, and he seems to people as uh, pawns to be manipulated. And yet, Ooh. he's never been able to forget the naive captain's wife who came to him for help and spent one memorable night in his bed. Talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, Pudgy. Nope. No, no more. No more. I, yes. I gotta read I gotta read this first. It was published in 2011. Mm -hmm. What? Lady in a purple dress what? with a, with her enti entire back uh, revealed. Yeah. 
But thankfully, her Fabio butt's covered. With an eye patch. Yeah. Fabio oh. with an eye patch. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh. Give me a second here. Oh, Pudgy. We, they're, they're, what site are you on? Okay. Here's some of the titles for the books he's looking at. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Bed, Bed Me Earl. I'm a lady, the lady with a green dress. The mm. Devil and Desire. The lady's covered in, in like a red curtain. Bed yeah. Me Baron. Hey, wait. There's a book about Baron Orman, Todd. <laughs> Uh-oh. We know him. <laughs> Yes. Yes, we do. A week to be witted. Ooh. Like a witch? A wicked witch? Of the uh, well, you know what? Let's click on it and see what happens. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Now, don't... Don't click. No clicky. No clickies. Clickies are bad things. When a devilish lord and a blue stocking set up to road the ruin, time is not on their side. <laughs> what they don't have time for is their growing attraction, much, much less wild passion. And heaven forbid, they spend precious hours bur burying their hearts and souls. Suddenly, one week seems like exactly enough time for the, the world of trouble, and sometimes, maybe... Love. Ooh. I'm going to have to get a new segment here called Dolphin After Dark starring Pudgy Hedgehog. Master of the words of woo. Oh, master of the words of woo. And that's more of woo. Yeah. Yeah. That's, but be careful. If you say the words of woo too long, it results in the part of the movie where it says, the next day and the screen goes black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then for some reason, they're at a diner eating pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> or, or warm, or warmed up fresh chocolate chip cookies where the meat mm. is gooey. Yes. Where the meat is gooey. Mm. Oh, gooey! I'm gonna be honest. Chip. I'm gonna be honest. The first thought that crossed my mind was uh, "Hot Shots Part Two, uh, where uh, uh, Charlie Sheen w was cooking the bacon on that lady's stomach. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I can't oh, that remember was a, her name, but she uh, was gorgeous. That was a terrible movie. Yeah. A lovely girl. Uh, yeah, it was it was the bedroom scene. He got her hot and bothered, so he started cooking breakfast on her stomach. No. <laughs> yep. yep. Now I know why I didn't watch the movie. Yeah. And they bounced the, the olive movie. out of her navel. Did you guys see Louis Gossett Jr. died? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. been a while. That's been a while. Yeah, about, about a week. Two weeks. Two weeks ago. Was it that long? Yeah. Yeah, two yeah, weeks that ago. Was... Yeah, that was that strange. I it didn't think he was that old. Well, the great ones are getting that old. Yeah, yeah. It, unfortunately, it, it, isn't that the truth? You mm -hmm. know, I'm trying to think. How old is Christopher Walken now? He, he's up there. Yeah, yeah. Although he was yeah, he, just in Dune Part Two, he I thought he, uh, you know, at least the still shots, he looks great as the Emperor. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> oh no what John no nah, just the thought of, of Christopher Walken as the emperor huh. you know I don't what? like those Harkonnen guys so yeah. I'm gonna send Atreides with some of my Sardaukar troops to evict them <laughs> <laughs> 
That was pretty good. That was the first time I've ever done Christopher Walken. Jeez, that was pretty, pretty good. good. That was. <laughs> Thank you. You know, you know, it would even be more better if you know, uh, said Christopher Walken is the emperor. Joe Pesci is the emperor. Yeah, oh, cut, your sensor button would break. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! <clears throat> hey, Fat, can you send me the uh, sledgehammer uh, meme you did? The the one of you? The one with me. Yeah, the one of me. Yeah. I can't find it. I mean, I got this one. Oh, no. What? No. We'll get 86 there, Pudgy. There's reviews on these no romance novels. Oh, oh my no. God. What? Well, let's see. Uh, a Week to Be Wicked, which is another pirate novel for some reason. Mm -hmm. Pudgy, why did you select pirate novels? Uh, wait, where did you get the cookie? Oh, okay, he's in a cookie right now. Okay. All right. One of the reviews was this was fun, but I hate the phrase swollen per swollen pearl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I can admit, I'm thinking that I'm not gonna say what that means. Yeah. Uh, no, no, come on. Let him enjoy his cookie. Yeah, let him enjoy the cookie. Yep. Let him enjoy the movie. The cookie. Let's mm -hmm. see. Uh, Snorta Pupa says, Valerio Colina played Ramada Ha... Oh, oh God. Snort, yeah. why do you give me these? Valerio... Valeria Colina played yeah. Ramada Radam Heyman in Hot Shots Part Due. Yeah, okay, I need was, a tongue I need a tongue transplant for that one. She was awesome. Mm. And she had the voice to go with the face. Okay, there's that was, ah. Oh my oh my goodness, some of the comments on, on this one is crazy. No, no. Do I want to know? Do we want to know? Someone wrote. Sure, why not? A four page point by point breakdown of this book and disputed every single one of, of, of the uh, transitions, what the premise is, what the on point stuff is. And then it goes into all the terrible uh, jokes, uh, the bad, the ugly. And then it was like, How's the blank? And then it says, Carmen bashes her head into the table repeatedly. Why? I don't understand. You had a perfect setup, but, uh, and then it goes into all the naughty parts, every single one of them. Wow. Oh, crazy. Seems like I'm here. Are people hearing me? It seems like there's a major buffer. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh, 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 oh, your email screen is up, Raymond. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Poop and runs. But it's uh, <laughs> but it's uh, so big. And Snort says that's what all the lady bears say. And uh, okay. Uh oh. Raymond, 
Raymond, you've got mail and Raymond. Okay. Patty going to get another cookie. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Boops and runs. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Come on. Raymond. Ah, there it is. Let's see here. Uh, smoke them if you got them. Okie dokie. Why do birds suddenly disappear every time you are near? Let's see. Let's see. Aha! There it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking for. Thank you, Fat. Mm hmm. Of course, it must be hard to drive with a hand like that. <laughs> or with scissors. Yeah, yeah. Although computer repair would be a snap. You know, just give it a good old bang and it's fixed. I think I'm having some computer issues because it seems like I'm dropping in and out. Everybody's getting me okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I, I guess uh, Cobalt is lecturing Pudgy on, uh, on this new train of thought he's going on. Yes. Telling about about the birds and the Daleks. Oh, God. <laughs> the birds, or the birds and the bears. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, the birds and the bears. Oh, speaking of birds, I get home after my away mission. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm walking, I'm, I'm letting Snoopy out on, outside, and I'm seeing... These two stupid birds in in our porch. The wind has uh, the wind's blown. With the wind being as strong as it's been around here, it's blown off all the screens from their attachments. So now, uh. so now I got two birds flying around in the porch, and these. Uh, I think. Um, now I know where, where bird brain comes from. <laughs> because these two bozos are just flying around a corner with so many openings, they can't get out. Yep. And and, and what's gonna happen is they're gonna there's gonna be a there's a little warped spot on my on my entrance to the base on my old storm entrance. That those uh, clowns are going to go in there, and I'm going to end up opening it, and they're going to be flying into my basement, terrorizing, terrorizing Snoopy. Well, no, Snoopy uh, doesn't go into the basement. Um, terrorizing Sandra. Yeah, and they're both going to say, "Raymond, get these creatures out of here." Yeah. Well, I'm sure Fett will loan you a cat. A couple of them. couple? Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll take Fett it. Fett for Hire Pest Control Incorporated. 
<laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Yes. Why? Ah, Pudgy back. Hey, Pudge. Wow. Hello. That was the cookie. Ah, uh, that was good. All right, right. Pudgy has Pudgy has another book to read. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. In an undisclosed location, two scientists were working with a series of computer consoles. They looked at the main monitor and one said, This work looks promising. If we can figure out what uh, on the means to replicate these abilities, we may be able to get an advantage on them. The lead scientist mm. frowned, licked her lips, and said softly, Our employer does not want promises. He wants results now. He wants to know not only how we can replicate their powers, but who... Uh, but how we could destroy them. Ooh. Tune in next week to the next part of Blood oh. Feud, The Whittling. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, oh man. Wow, chicka, wow, wow. That, I'm over there going... <laughs> Wait, but Pudgy, can I see the punch? Oh my goodness, it is blood feud. It's, it was that was page two oh eight. New Motley Crue music is a powerful cross between country and hip hop. Oh man! Oh. Just when you thought Motley Crue couldn't get any worse. Yeah, oh. I think I'll check out. Oh. Well, Beyonce, oh. you're doing country, so this makes sense. My brain yeah, just but, flipped inside out. Yeah, but Vince oh. Neil, Vince Neil can't make sense anymore. How's he going to sing a country song? <laughs> oh, it's simple. Yeah. You, you know, if you sing a country song, uh, well, the joke is if you sing a country song backwards, you get your truck back, your car back, your house back, your girlfriend back, your wife back. So they just yep. have to sing it. You just have to sing it forward where you start losing everything. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just curious <laughs> out of the out of like five Motley Crue fans that are left, which one of them wants this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> like I get it. John Five had to dumb himself down to play, you know, their old stuff, but holy cow. Yeah. And how is he going to fit why? in in hip hop? Yeah, yeah how are you going to how are you going to do hip hop? Because first of all, Tommy Lee tried doing that when he left Motley Crue and it failed. So what yeah, makes him think it's going to work with Motley Crue? Well, he hasn't been playing with a full deck in many decades. Well, Motley Crue hasn't been playing for a yeah. long time now. They've been lip syncing, so yeah. Well, if you mm -hmm. listen to some of the new country, mm -hmm. it's got a whole lot of hip hop in it, which makes a lot of sense because most of the Nashville recording studios uh, were either bought out or or bought out and shut down by New York based music uh, uh, labels. So yeah, there, there's been a lot of cross pollination between hip hop and country as it is. So I could see them, you know, Motley Crue rolling in there and going like. Yeah, there's hip hop in country music now. Yes, there is. Oh yeah, oh, well, that started oh. back in the '90s. Um, I forget who yeah, it was. They did that song, "Honky Tonk the Donkey Dunk." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big yeah, and rich. It's horrible. And I thought I the think... crossover between metal and rap was bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, well, that's my. the thing. That's why I don't listen to Aerosmith anymore. Yeah, so so there are there are gangster cowboys now. Yeah, when they ran, when they had one deal. 
Yeah, run DMC with them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah if you turn on a modern country station, uh, it, it's Which not long. It's not long until one of these, one of the newer songs come out. You know, and, and there's a lot of. Uh, uh, I think it was like what it didn't happen this year, but it happened last year. You know, where they did the uh, the big country uh, country New Year's party on uh, I think the CBS or something, and, and they brought mm-hmm. this one guy out and you know, full on rapper and everything. He's out there, you know, rapping with with a country band behind him, and and you know, at first there was a bit of a disconnect because he's so used to his typical rhythms, but then. You know, he was smart enough and talented enough that he was able to tap into the country and then, you know, and then it started working properly. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still trying to imagine this Motley Crew hip hop. I mean, what's it going to be? Shout at the DJ. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, they'll all switch over to, ha- to having cowboy hats. Well, yeah. Two of, them, two of them almost doing this picture. Yeah. Yeah. A powerful cross between country and a dentist drill. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I'm not yeah. sure Nikki Six. Go. I don't think I don't see Nikki Six wearing a cowboy hat. It would mess up his hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it might shift his wig. He's too much of a pretty boy for a hat. Yeah. Well, if he's already if he's already bald, then you know, just shave it off and put the cowboy hat on and just not take it off. Yeah. And if he's pretty, I'm adorable. <laughs> God. Anyhow. I I can just imagine, you know, kick start my stallion. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's about about a song about racehorses. Yep. I guess I guess home sweet home can be changed to farm sweet you know, farm sweet farm. Easy for me to say. Yeah. Yep. I'm on my way. Farm sweet yeah. farm. To to quote Dalek, oh the pain, the pain. Yes. The pain. I wasn't even I'm not a big Motley Crue fan anyway, but this is uh, <laughs> this yeah. No, I'm a farmer. And my few yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. and John is broken. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Awesome. Oh boy. I'm a cowboy. Well Bon jo- yeah, Bon Jovi did it. I'm a hedgehog. <laughs> da, 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 polar bear da, ride da, da, da. Yeah, and the polar bear he rides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dead or alive. Wait, I gotta get the lyrics. Yeah. I'm trying to yeah, think, think trying to think of another uh, Motley Cruise song. Uh yeah. Yeah. What's what, what's so? Uh, first, Doctor Feelgood could be about artificial insemination for a cow. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh my. Where is it? Discography. I'm trying to think what what they do with girls, girls, girls. But Pudgy already covered that a few chapters ago. I was thinking cowgirls, cowgirls, cowgirls. (laughs) Oh dear! Kickstart my tractor. Yeah. (laughs) Too fast for John Deere. (laughs) <laughs> live wire could be livestock yeah <laughs> well we could also do uh 
too young to fall in love. It's a son in, a son in uh, Kentucky. <laughs> yeah. You don't have there to change. Just, just talk to them about you know, two, uh, two uh, 16-year-olds running away. Mm. Yeah. Two 16-year-old cousins. Yeah. Oh, let's... Uh... Meanwhile, back at the Earth. Yes. I don't want YouTube to start uh, slapping me for... Slapping me around. They wouldn't uh, you dare. Know, uh, you know what? Primal Scream could go hip-hop. Don't know that one. Oh, uh, Motley Crue. It's, it's from 90, 91, Decade of Decadence. Primal Scream um, and Shout. Uh. <laughs> yeah, the, that was one of those songs that they would play you know, over and over and over and over again. But fi finally... Uh, it was able to be removed by near, far, wherever you are, you know, by uh, Celine Dion. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I stopped listening to Motley Crue somewhere about 1985. I've never listened to Motley. Yeah, I, Girls, Girls, Girls was a big disappointment. I, I kind of yeah. dipped out there. Like I said, they, okay, were, I found the lyric. They, they were always just the flavor of the, of the year, you know? Yeah. Like the the uh, satanic panic was happening in the early '80s, so they did shot at the devil. You know, then it was the glam took yeah. over, and they did the theater pain thing, and then Guns and Roses got big, and they switched over to leather and bikes and all that stuff. Yeah, posers, mm. poser band. Yeah, definitely. And it oh. sucks because I like their first two albums. Yeah, you know, they pulled the wool over my eyes. Yeah. Well, the first pressings mm. of their first oh. album had no bass at all. Yeah. yeah. Oh no! Well, they still have no bass at all. That's true. What? At least not a not the real. Nikki Sticks doesn't play anyway. Yeah. They have a fake bass. I'm a pudgy. I'm a pudgy. On a on a snorty I ride. I'm wanted, dead or alive. Wanted, dead oh, no, or Mi alive. Oh no, Mr. Raymond. What pudgy? But you just saw something about Star Trek Discovery. Oh, no. Motley Crue's going to be on Star Trek? What? <laughs> Discovery Season 5 introduced an android who bears a striking resemblance to Mr. Data. <laughs> mm. Discovery oh. Season 5 introduces a song-type synth uh, similar to Data, uh, connecting TNG and Picard storylines to Star Trek Discovery. Pudgy, wash your right. mouth out with soap. Wash your mouth out with soap. And you know mm -hmm. what the name of the android is? What? What? Fred. <laughs> Fred. God. Fred. Fred. Yeah, that's his I name. Hope that's, I hope that's you making a joke. No, but Pudgy's looking it, at stuff. Something it's so called, ridiculous, it has to be real. Well, yeah. Something called oh. Screen Rant. Oh, boy. See, sometimes I get bummed out that I can't be on I'm, Pop I'm Culture making, Breakdown every week, but at least I don't have yeah. to watch that crap. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, no. It's a. It's a time travel storyline. Oh, God. Okay. Discovery season uh, five. Maybe they'll, time, maybe they'll time travel in, and they'll uh, completely reset all of it. And we'll be seeing uh, real Kirk and real Spock saying, what was this all about? Yeah. Definitely. But go ahead, Pudgy. I... All right, the USS Discovery are thrown into a galactic treasure hunt and hundreds of the years in making. Uh, they set out on the pursuit of a mysterious Romulan artifact from over 800 years ago. The target is stolen by couriers, uh, special names. Uh, 
A threat leads Discovery to a fencing agent named Fred, a synthetic with the same yellow eyes as Data. Okay. So the, the prize is a Romulan puzzle box. So just like J.J. Abrams, it really is a mystery box. Oh, boy. Yeah. Just when you think New Direct can't get any worse, they do. Oh. Yeah. And, oh, I know and, some. And Fred mentions that he hasn't seen the box for 622.7 years. Oh, sure. boy. I, I know a certain uh, helmeted uh, supervillain who's going to go ape shit about that part of my language. I actually see yeah. that. Oh, dear. That died. Um. Okay, so the temporary good news is apparently after creating the data like Android for season one, or season five, episode one, they kill him off in season five, episode two. <laughs> so it doesn't mm -hmm. even last more than one episode. Oh, good. Well, I've got the, I I got the feeling Brent Spiner looked at the script and said. No. And then they yeah. said, well, you get paid this much. He said, okay, but only one episode. Kill me off. Yeah. Uh, uh. Oh, so supposedly season five is the last season. You know, yeah. And, and well, Pudgy was watching another video, uh, and it, it, they were saying that Paramount, Paramount has all sorts of problems. You know, they, they were trying to sell... Actually, that might be the Doob Talk video, but uh, yeah, yeah. but but then Pudgy was reading in the news that Paramount made a counter offer. Uh, it just mm -hmm. came out today, so now they're trying to buy Skydance instead of Skydance buying them. Uh. So it, it, it'll be a five billion dollar stock deal. So basically, it means that they don't have to change out any money. It's just stock for stock. Mm -hmm. So. If they buy Skydance and fold them into Paramount Plus, uh, that'll bring in some money, which then they yeah, can but make. That mean, but that Trek still means. Every six. Mm. Oh. Are you sure you're not the other guy from the Mirror Universe? No, it, 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 Pudgy's Pudgy. Pudgy is Pudgy. Okay. Yeah, Pud, Pudgy's Prime. Prime Pudgy. <laughs> He's prime time, Pudgy. Yeah. Oh dear, that just uh Yeah, um let's see. Snorter Poop has heard. Are those the footsteps of Doomcock I'm hurrying? Hearing? Mm. Uh probably not. Uh, it's the clicky clicky. Uh Doomcock. Jim Cox in the bar to get, to get the moonshine. <laughs> mm -hmm. The only way to uh, take away the pain. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey. We'll good, make good news. They green. They greenlit another season of Mountain Monsters. <laughs> Mountain we'll make Monsters. That. Yeah. What? Mountain Monsters is the absolute best show on television. Uh, it's. It's a, a bunch of uh, four hundred pound uh, bearded fat guys <laughs> that go out of into the wood, woods at night uh, in West Virginia, Kentucky, and, uh, and and the South looking for Bigfoot. Ah, oh, uh, it's it's so on. That's uh, what happened to Raymond Screens. <laughs> oh, this the show is absolutely awesome. It is so stupid. You, <laughs> You do not have to think about it. You know they're all carrying guns. They're chasing after after were, um, um, werewolves and hellhounds and chupacabras and and you know what the best part is? They got a spinoff series. Oh, and, no. and the spinoff series lasted for two for two seasons, where they went up to Alaska. Mm -hmm. So and the Alaskan ones were even better because the one guy. He, he had a little stuffed bunny rabbit attached to his to his hat. So the entire <laughs> time I'm, I'm going, little bunny foo foo's hopping through the forest. <laughs> you know, 
picking up this picking up the Sasquatch and bop them on the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. All right. And then uh, that's th those two seasons. They got a spinoff. Oh, oh no. dear. And then probably went, talking about the bunny. But no, it went to Swamp Monsters in Louisiana, and I kid you not, there is a guy that is on that show that looks an awful lot like Ted Cruz. No kidding. <laughs> and if and if you <laughs> and if you take the timeline of when he was in office, mm -hmm. there is a chance he might have been on that show. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh dear. Uh, Snorter Pooper says we'll make the head of Paramount a deal he cannot refuse. Slips the head of Jar Jar Abrams in his bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Love it. That's, love it. that's love it. I don't know. That's uh, I hope. Mm. I could see Doomcock's head exploding after all this. My head's ready to explode. My ah. head is ready to explode. Well, the biggest thing with Paramount is they are so large. And over yeah. the years, they bought, they bought so much stuff. That, that uh, they basically turned into a uh, into a thing that can never be unpacked. The only way that they could fix Paramount, you know, slash CBS slash Viacom, is if it goes into Chapter Eleven bankruptcy and they and they split it apart that way. That's the only way that they could do it, because of all yeah. the, the content and licensing deals and the debt and the senior notes and the junior notes and, and all of it. Yeah. Or if they went Chapter mm -hmm. 7 liquidation, that's uh, either 11 or 7 is the only way to be able to fix that problem. And, you know, in, in that scenario, you know, let's say you, they go through a Chapter 7 liquidation. And meanwhile, YouTube, this is not financial advice. This is just, you know, uh, uh, crazy fan-related uh, uh, explanations. Mm -hmm. All right. So that disclaimer aside, if they went with a Chapter 7 liquidation, so... Mm -hmm. They could split off the book publisher, you know, I think Simon and Schuster. They could split right. off the CBS, the the broadcast network. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they could split off Paramount, you know, which is the movie uh, uh, division. But then you get to, you know, like Star Trek, where they have the two licenses. You have the original license and the new license. You could yeah. potentially have, you know, the, the new license be picked up by, uh, I don't know, Disney and then the old license picked up by Warner Brothers. So you'd have a, have a scenario where you could have uh, <laughs> stunning and brave, uh, you know, uh, Star Trek. That's all, you know, an all female version over uh, on, on Disney's networks. Yeah. And, and then you have the old stuff running the, at the same time. You know, it, it, it would turn into a, a, a complete and total war. And then also ponder this for a moment. The book rights are also separate. Mm, yeah. So you, so you could potentially have the books being published by somebody and then the two other licenses being produced by other stuff as well. You know, the, the only way to unify everything would be, you know, absolutely insane and expensive. Yeah. Yep. See if that guy from ABBA has any more money left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. No, if if any, you know, with Abba, the next target that I can see them going after, mm -hmm. ACDC. No! Ooh. I could see I could see them going that direction because they're oh. the the, uh, the lead singing singer. I think Malcolm Young. I think he passed away. He did. Well, he did. Guitar player. That, yeah. but that was he did, but that was over forty years ago. No, that Malcolm was just bon passed. Scott. Yeah, Bond yeah. Scott died. On time. Oh yeah, Bond. You know, so the, the original oh, one. Bond died. Scott. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I got the name the wrong. The originals. The Bond Scott, the original singer of ACDC, he died in in 1980, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, but didn't the replacement guy also um, pass away? 
No, I don't no, know. Brian, no, he's still Brian, there. Brian Johnson, he's still around. Oh, okay. Yeah, he had some massive hearing problems, but he got that yeah, taken to, care of. Yeah, he had to. Yeah, he had to stop. Yeah, they were doing a tour back at the the uh, Rock and Bus tour back in 2016, but it, but Brian had to stop because 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 he was having problem with his hearing, and and yeah, I, uh, Axel Rose I, came in. Axel Rose I, came in and took his place for the rest of the tour, yeah. and I actually I actually went to see him. I went to see ACDC and and with Axel Rose leading. Wow, was it any good? It was it was great, but it wasn't. I don't it was, I don't think it was. Person by the end of it, I was thinking, what this is. This would have been a lot better if it was Brian. Hmm. Yeah, I always like Brian. Yeah, it starts off with dirty deeds, and then all of a sudden switches over to to you to be mine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love dude. I love dirty deeds. No. That I love that yeah. entire album. That was probably mm. the only AD, ACDC album oh, I geez. ever had. Yeah, you're, you're talking. Album? You're talking to a massive a, a massive ACDC fan here. Yeah, love it. Of, love, love, of course, their their bass player Cliff Williams has the easiest job in the world. You know, they're as a a bass player in that band. It's all standard blues, and he doesn't have to do anything. You know, over the top. It's just straight bass playing right through, and he doesn't even have to move around a lot. Yeah. Well, Pudgy's rather upper class high society. Pudgy's God's gift of ballroom notoriety. All right. And Pudgy always fills my ballroom. The event is never small. The social pages say Pudgy's got the biggest balls of all. Pudgy's got big balls. They're such big balls. And they're dirty big balls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. The news got the... News got the biggest balls of them all. <laughs> oh. Oh, my. Next on Revenge of the Clips. bouncing. My ballroom's always full. And everyone comes and comes again. If your name is on the guest list, no one can take you higher. Everyone says Pudgy's got great balls of fire. Oh, dear God. Pudgy's got big balls. Oh, Pudgy's got big balls. And there's such big balls. Dirty big balls. <laughs> big balls. And Pudgy's got big balls. And Pudgy's got big balls. <laughs> But Pudgy's got the biggest balls of the ball. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. Oh, some boy. balls are held for charity and some are fancy dress. But when they're held for pleasure, they're the balls that Pudgy likes best. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you should have. Oh man, you should have. Imagine what you'd make of. You should have done Problem Child. Oh dear God, yes. Oh, just take a dial and let Pudgy check. You should have done Problem Child. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, yeah. Uh, Dirty deeds done, done dirt cheap. Dirty, dirty deeds done with done cheap. With cheap. <laughs> yeah. Dirty <laughs> deeds done, dirt cheap. Uh, oh, dirt, yeah, those, those two done, songs cheap. Those two songs are classic. <laughs> which, is, which two songs? Dirty deeds and <laughs> and uh, big balls. Oh, yeah. big balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> problem problem yeah, child yeah. was one of my favorites. Men in their twenties. Men in their twenties play football. Men in their thirties play tennis. Men in their forties play golf. 
Have you noticed when men get older, their balls get smaller? <laughs> oh, dear. <God. laughs> oh, <No>. dear. <laughs> and Sandra says, I'm afraid to see what Bet's going to do with that. Oh, no. Yeah, How am I? <laughs> beware, beware, you two. Next on Revenge of the Clips. Yes. Ah oh, man, and then you get all, and then you get all the really, really big hits like Highway to Hell, the <laughs> Hell's Bells, Thunderstruck, Shoot to Thrill, and, and then, and then, and of course, COD. Back in Black. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he's playing. He's playing back in black. There you go. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Nice. Sweet. Yeah. That's oh. an awesome song. Yep. You should be oh, on yeah. the song. Here is the musical session. Fet jamming. Back in black, Pudgy hit the sack. Pudgy's been <laughs> too long. Pudgy's glad to be back. Yes, Pudgy let loose from the news and kept me hanging about. Pudgy just uh, looking at the sky because it's getting Pudgy high. Forget the hearse. Uh, Pudgy will never die. Pudgy got oh, nine lives. Cat's eyes appears in every one of them and running wild because Pudgy's back. <laughs> Yes, Pudgy's back. back. Oh, Pudgy's back. Pudgy's back. Pudgy's back. Pudgy's back. Oh, back. Pudgy's back. Oh, back. Alex having the a ball. back of a Cadillac. Number one with a bullet. Pudgy's a power pack. Yep. Oh, my. <laughs> Meanwhile, somewhere lurking is Angus Young going, What the hell was that? <laughs> why do a, why is a why is a hedgehog doing my covers? Yeah. Wearing a mining, wearing a mining helmet. Yeah, wearing yeah. a mining helmet. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's, well, I guess young. He do, uh, he does wear a schoolboy outfit, so why 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 not wear? I thought you wear a hat. That's sure. Fair. Hmm. Oh boy, but it'll be really hard for Pudgy to do the the schoolboy thingy that that guy does with a guitar. Yeah. Because <laughs> Pudgy's only a couple uh, a, a couple millimeters off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Although technically Pudgy could just roll around, so that would work. Mm. Yeah. That, that could work. Yeah, just like that Critters movie. Oh, that's true. I didn't see that one. I like that movie. Never for sight. Oh, it's worth a watch. I'm surprised they made five of them. <laughs> I only remember the first one though. The first one, as with all of those, yeah. was the best. Then they made the second one. It was like, hey, this is pretty tall. By the time they got the number five, when it was, uh, I think it was like around number three, the original guy yeah. that was, you know, the hero for that movie, he didn't want to do it anymore. So uh, the comic relief sort of uh, middle character from the first two movies, he popped in and became yeah. the the hero. So. He got to be the hero for number four and number five. Is so those? It was it was, uh, it was neat. But by the by the time I hit five, it's like okay, it's time for the critters to go away now. Well, you know that kid that was in those movies. You know that's the guy from the Orville. Yeah. The uh, navigator. I forget his name. Oh, yeah. And that, that I just picked that up him. last year at Halloween. They had uh, all five critters in in one set, but I haven't oh, watched it. Wait. Yeah, yeah, it was only like fourteen bucks or something. Oh, cool. well, yeah. Then there was the yeah, Phantasm then... franchise. Oh, I yeah. love Phantasm yeah. too. That Cuda in that car. I'm a Chevy guy, but oh man, I would take that car. Yeah. Well, the first two were good. The ones later on were kind of iffy. 
Yeah. But it got weirder and weirder. You know what some of my favorite horror movies are? The mm. Wishmasters. The first two. Yeah. I think they're, they're yeah, four. Yeah, those were great. Now, the other, the other, like three and four, not, not even worth watching. Yeah. But yeah, the first two, them. yeah, people think when they think of Wes Craven, they think of Nightmare on Elm Street. But I, I think the Wishmasters were better, to be honest with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second Very one, underrated. I remember the. I remember the blonde in that one, and she was hmm, very pretty. Very pretty. Now, one of those rare instances where the sequel was better than the first one, uh, I always, uh, uh, what I'm talking about is the, are the house movies. So house one was really good, you know, mm -hmm. uh, where the ghosts and the demons were, were uh, doing things in the different rooms. Uh, but yeah, uh, where they did house two and it was the son of the guy, you know, the, the dad that was, uh, you know, tormented in that movie. He went yeah. right back into that house. Uh, and at the very end, uh, he went back in time, uh, you know, cause the, one of the ghosts that were in the house, you know, ghost slash zombie was, uh, the great, great grandfather. who was a cowboy that was buried on the property. So, yeah. They used the skull, went back in time, and then he wound up in the 1800s. Mm -hmm. yeah, so they sort cool. of set it up where it was the grandfather, but at the same time, you know, that son could have technically been the grandfather. So it was one of those, you know, one of those neat things, but it was a nice ending to that series where they, they stopped it at two and it was perfect. Yeah. So how many That's horror the fans are there on the panel here? Not me. Up to I love the pup, What's that I love the, love the puppet master movies. That yeah. yeah, the last one though was oh, that was garbage. I don't know if I'd call myself I don't know if I'd call myself a horror fan exactly, but I have a pass. I guess I have a passing interest in horror movies. Do you have series. one that you like? One yeah. one that's uh, no? um. How about Manos, the Hand of Fate? Uh, I don't know that one. Oh, that that is yeah. you know, it's, it's terrible, but it's funny. <laughs> yeah, I have a couple yeah, really bad that. ones. I have uh, yeah the WrestleManiac because when I, I saw it in the store, it said it had uh, Rey Mysterio <laughs> on it, but here it's the real yeah. Rey Mysterio, not Rey Mysterio Jr. Uh -huh. the yeah. movie is not awful. And I have another, well, actually two, because it was uh, two of them came in the set. They're called The Scarecrow. And uh, mm -hmm. on the cover, it showed The Scarecrow, and he looked awesome. But the movies are horrible. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There was My the first, first slasher movie I saw was Night School with Rachel Ward. Mm -hmm. And horrible movie, but wow, she was something. Uh, my my horror stuff goes back the old black and white stuff. I, I've never been. Oh old. yeah, yeah, like the, the Vincent Price stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. where that's where I go. That's where my horror. I don't like any of the. I don't like a lot of the modern stuff. Yeah, you know, like when you're does. talking like the Universal monsters, you're probably gonna laugh. But my favorite thing is uh, having Costello meet Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was awesome. Yeah. I could watch that every day. Yeah, that was. Yep. And the, you know one of the one of the best old horror movies was The Hands of Orlock with Peter Lorre. Mm -hmm. hmm. You know what movie they haven't touched yet, which is interesting? Hmm. The Van Helsing movie with Hugh Jackman in it. You know, they set it up uh, as a possible sequel you know, because Frankenstein was on the raft and he was you know. Uh, Floating out into the ocean at the end. I'm surprised yeah. they did not make a sequel to that movie or even try to reboot it. Of course, in some ways, it, they sort of did reboot it because it, you know, the, there were ties to, into the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that was a, the, the uh, Hugh Jackman movie was really good. I liked that one. Yeah, I'm, I'm really certain. <laughs> yeah, Snorri Poopist. Uh, poor Torgo, Manos, the hand of fate. Okay. 
Oh, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible movie, but it's funny. Wow. So, Cobalt, what would be your favorite horror movie if you could only choose one? Only one. Uh, hmm. In terms of... Well, okay, horror movie, Puppet Master 1. That first one was the best. You know, they went out to the creepy hotel, you know, you know, and, and it started it off the setup, you know, and it, they hinted at things. And when yeah. they were explaining about where the puppets came from, how the yeah. puppeteer made those, pu that was, uh, that was the best setup. Yeah. You know, and they explored that in the other movies afterwards. So Puppet Master 2, 3, when they got the five, that's where things, yeah, they always get the five, and this is where things go haywire because they, they stopped world building, stopped explaining, yeah. and then they went in, into like mysticism. Uh, yeah, I forget which number it was, but Retro Puppet Master I liked. Yeah. And, you know, the, there was one of them I couldn't stand, but I can't remember which one it is. Well, number two, uh, they brought back the guy that was making the puppets. They put him into a puppet body. Toulon. Ah. Yeah, Toulon. And then he did things because they got the formulation wrong. And then uh, the puppets mm -hmm. killed the killed the Toulon puppet. Ah. Yeah, they, they realized they made a mistake. So it's like, okay, we're time to pull the plug on this one. Yeah. How about you, John? What's your favorite? Favorite? Oh, hmm. Going back a ways. I don't know. I, I suppose of the more modern stuff, it would be Hellraiser 2. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Hellraiser, they're good. Yeah. yeah. And the first one was okay. The second one was better. Um, oh. The ones after that were, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, oh, I can. Oh, wait, I can get. I, I, oh, I just thought, I just, why didn't I think of it before? I, did, I, I, I think I just thought of one, at least one horror movie I generally really like. Yeah. Which one? The original Jaws. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Definitely. A lot of good scenes in that one. Especially the Indianapolis scene. That was oh, yeah. so well done. Yeah, and, and that um, scene was so perfect because it's dude, just I three guys around the table. Yeah. Hmm. If I had to pick one, oh, God. I have never been into the horror genre except the old stuff. I Yeah. Uh, I'd probably have to go with Dracula. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's a solid Yeah, the thing. old Dracula. The, the old the old Bella Lugosi one. Yeah. And I, if you see that, I don't know if you know the story that they were making the Spanish version with all different actors at the same time. Uh, they were shooting uh, the one we know during the day, and then they had the Spanish cast come in during the night. And if you play them side by side, the Spanish one actually comes out better. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Which is weird, you know, if you've got subtitles at least. But uh, yeah, the, those early Universal ones what were is... awesome. No, for me, nothing beats the original Halloween. Mm. I just watched it oh, since yeah. I was a kid. It's just been as part, of, you know, bigger part of my life is Star Wars and Kiss. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that one. The yeah. Yabo Dracula. Although yeah. for more more modern movies, though, I do love The Conjuring too. Didn't see that one. I love that movie. It's very it's very satanic and evil and spooky. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Well, if if we're going in, in into a more modern uh, direction for horror movies, Event Horizon's good. Oh, that is yeah. good. That's a horror sci-fi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot yeah. about that one. And The Ring, I liked the original. I don't know if I saw that. Yeah, that, that was pretty good. It's very um, 
dreary, but then it's filmed in Seattle, so, you know. A good, solid movie. You know, it was a horror movie I saw years ago that I, I, I think we actually got it on pay-per-view, and I hated it. But a few yeah. years back, one mall was going out of business, and I found it on DVD for three bucks. So I thought, screw it, I'll, I'll buy it, give it another chance. Ghost Ship. Yeah. Ghost. Oh, the modern one. Oh, my God, it's Ghost Ship. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, there's actually that one, and there's the Ghost Ship from 1944, I think it was. And um, that was not so much a horror movie as a psychological thriller, but um, a fellow named Skelton Nags played uh, Finn, the, the mute uh, mate. And he did a really good job on that. That was the best movie he'd ever been in. And then he went and died shortly after it. Hmm. You know what Pudgy's favorite horror movie is? Isn't mm. What What's is it? Munchies. Munchies? Munchies. Demonic, hand, hand. demonic hand puppets yeah. take over a southwestern desert town and, and wreak havoc. Uh, <clears throat> I thought yeah, you they, liked Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Um, <laughs> well, no, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is a comedy, but and it's a cinematic masterpiece. Yes, you said that. Yep. Well, now Pudgy's getting into the weird stuff. How about how about Doll Man versus Demonic Toys? Heard of it? Never saw it. Hmm. How about Ghoulies? Anybody ever uh, see Ghoulies? Oh uh, yeah, Ghoulies. Yeah. That's oh, a good Ghoulies one. too, man. Wasp did the theme yeah. song. Scream until you like it. Mm -hmm. Ah. One of my favorite bands of all time. Yeah. It, it, this was a one-off movie, uh, but you know it was it was really well made. Nightbreed. Nightbreed. I remember the name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it had the uh, they were going for a trilogy. Uh, the studio severely interfered with it, uh, and mm -hmm. when they eventually released it, uh, it came out to the theaters and it just it, it bombed. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, there it goes. I said the word. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Yeah, oh, I, boy. Raymond's it's asleep on. at the wheel. Hail Agent Pepsi One. Hail Ms. Pepsi. See, you know, I've seen so many horror movies in my lifetime as a kid because, you know, we had HBO and you were guaranteed nudity. So I saw so many of them. I don't even remember what they were, what their names were. I was just looking for boobs. <laughs> and, and you always got them in a horror movie. So, mm -hmm. sorry, I mean, huge circles. <laughs> Big circles. <laughs> Hello, Agent Pepsi One. Horror movies, they're yeah. usually pretty huge. Hey, Pepsi. Yep. And they're usually outside yeah. and they're usually cold and pointy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Hello, Wade. Real Wade Nation. Hey, what's Hello, up, brother? Real Wade. Hey there. Oh, yeah. Oh, Night Nightbreed was made by uh, uh, Clive Barker. Uh, uh, yeah. The, there's a, there's actually, there is another horror movie that I actually actually recently I actually watched a couple of times, which I mm -hmm. actually I actually watched it. I think it was last week. It because it was on because it's on a streaming service over here right now. It's cool. Yeah. The Amityville Horror. Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Classic. Amityville. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then there's Poltergeist. Exorcist oh, one was the best, you know, of yeah. that trail of that series. Yeah. Hmm. Poltergeist was a lot of fun. Yeah, one was good. 
too make, makes me angry every time because they said in the in the movie you got to stay together you got to hold on to the family when you cross over to the other side to fight the spirit and what did they do they let go of the little girl every single time <laughs> yep <laughs> poor carol ann yeah I was and, then eventually, and, and then eventually she gets into the third movie and then she's stuck in that uh, that skyscraper you know, and then finally they, they let her go away. Yeah. How about the omen? Ooh. Omen's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think Patrick, that was the Patrick Troughton was in the omen, was in that. You know, the second mm. the second doc second yeah. doc the second yes. doctor who he was in that. Yeah. Yes. He was the Agent. little priest, wasn't he? He was. Yeah. yeah. Agent Pepsi One, I agree. I love cat people. Okay, oh, I, I would yeah. I would say that's probably one of my favorite modern horror movies, Cat People. Nastasia Kinski, Wooba Dooba. Yep, and the original with Simone Simone. That was a uh, 1940s, I believe, or late 30s. Yeah, just uh, and James and David Bowie's theme song for it. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, let's. Very my cool. Prize, my prize collection. Nice. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Nice. You got a chainsaw mm. to go with it? I have a machete. Ah. Ooh, that'll work. Yeah. Um, cat people, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Putting out fire. With gasoline. Uh, yeah, that was that... dead. So well, I, I was I'm looking at Wikipedia for Nightbreed, you know, and uh, it says that the, it in 1990 when they made the movie, it cost 16 million dollars to make that movie. Feature length, all named stars in the movie, creature effects. Uh, I, you know, uh, hand painted animation because they were going for a good look for it. So it cost yeah. sixteen million and made ten million in the boxes box office. It was, you know, it was a failure. All right, mm. convert to inflation. So that yeah. same movie made today would be twenty seven million dollars. Mm -hmm. You know, so if, if if you do you know a one to one you know inflation uh, calculation, so. Yeah, there are no movies made for twenty-seven million dollars anymore. They're all yeah, all well in excess. But you know, if they were to do something like that today and have access to standard-level CGI that's just available on someone's computer right now, you know, mm -hmm. they could absolutely do a movie like that. You know, put that out for twenty-seven million and would probably make fifty million back. You know, it would definitely be economically viable. Yeah. And I remember when they started with the CGI, everybody was saying, oh, it's going to save us tons of money. And now it's yeah. only more expensive, you know. Exactly. Yes. You know what? You know what the funny part is? We've hit the point where CGI doesn't look, doesn't mm. look good anymore. Mm. And, yeah, and got some, right. some, you got that right. Right. Some of the yeah. CGI that you look that that was done in the past looks better than what they're doing today you know and, and a good example of this would be uh league of extraordinary gentlemen with the skinner scenes where you know, invisible man where he's applying the makeup yeah that was yeah, a that very was unique well yeah a very unique effect and uh there's been no version of of that you know no one's ever attempted another invisible man movie uh in that application yeah and it's weird because that you know the technology is still there, but and you would think it would be much easier now than it was then. Yeah, the hmm. craziest thing. Yeah, Agent Pepsi once said yeah. Bowie also released a version on the Let's Dance album. I like that one better than the movie version. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she's going to the prom. Yeah, she's the 
chaperoning. Oh, chaperoning. I always thought chaperoning was something you put on a pizza. Ah, oh boy. Chaperoni. Chaperoni. <laughs> chaperoni. <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, mama mia, mama mia. Mr. Raymond is a time. It yells above. As if something <laughs> to try for Pudgy. For Pudgy. For Pudgy. For Pudgy. <laughs> oh boy. Mr. So. Raymond, is it time to go? Da -da -da -da. Is it time to push the button about the end of the show? Oh, Mr. Raymond. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Raymond. <laughs> oh, Why do you want to leave so quickly? Why do you want to leave so quickly, Pudgy? Oh, yeah, he don't want to leave. He wants to dance. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. Crap. What are you doing, Pudgy? <laughs> Stop pushing buttons. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, snort. Follow the bouncing pudgy. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah, pudgy. Oh, do you have to push this button then? Uh-huh. Oh, ooh, floating pudgy. Oh. He ooh. turned off the gravity. Oh, there goes the gravity. Yep. Oh. <laughs> He floats through the air with the greatest of these. Of these. It's that was a great the movie. Hedgehog on King Dolphin TV. <laughs> <laughs> that was down a great here, movie. The down guns here, and chapter will float too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, Topo, turn off screen saver mode. Pudgy doesn't <laughs> want to float on the screen anymore. I, I, I want to play Pong, Pudgy. Let's play Pong. <laughs> Pudgy oh, yeah. Pong Pudgy. Pong Pudgy. Pong. 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 Or, or what's the old, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the block breaker Pudgy? Ouch. You know, with Pudgy being the ball and hitting the blocks. Uh, why is this thing so hot? Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Pudgy, Pudgy knows what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh, wow. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, let's see. Let's start pruning my roses. So let's see. What's in them? Okay, I'm thinking here. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. Man, my fingers. I hope I'm going to have fingers to play musical instruments. Oh, what did you do to fingers? I've got some bad, I've got some bad uh, eczema. Ah. Uh, oh. And, and the skin, the skin is tearing up. Oh, <sighs> that's horrible. Oh, don't yeah. start talking about finger and you'll get Wendy Webb all hot and bothered when she watches the replay. <laughs> uh, I'm sure she's having a, she, a good time at the ball yard. Let that, let that won't happen from Pudgy's romance novel readings. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna be hot and so hot should, and nachos. Should, I'm sure Wendy oh. will thank you for that. I'm sure Wendy will thank you for that, Pudgy. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Sure, don't you have nail polish, Agent Pepsi One? Licking, <laughs> licking her luscious lips out of an errant nacho cheese sauce. 
Scooping the, scooping the brisket between her two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Munch, munching away on the beefy goodness of the brisket. <laughs> broken oh. You've done it, Pudgy. You've broken all of us at once. <laughs> oh God! Oh. And you know the bad thing is this is Jim, this is Wendy and Jimmy's anniversary, so I'm oh, sure they're no. going to. Get, they're, I'm sure they're going to. Uh, yeah, they're going to uh, listen to this. They're going to be like, oh, 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 beer man, come over here. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing like the pudgy words of woo. Uh, <laughs> Step pudgy. one, a approach the lady. Step two, state your intentions. Step three, speak the words of woo. Caution, speaking the words of woo too much may result in unforeseen circumstances. Four, upon speaking the words of woo, if she is ready to reciprocate, which is a big word the pudgy does not know, yeah. it will, uh, she will respond with similar words of woo. <laughs> Example, woo woo, woo 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 woo. Woo woo, woo 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 woo. <laughs> woo woo, woo woo, woo woo. woo, woo. First get nachos. <laughs> 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 I wonder what Agent Pepsi One is saying, uh, thinking, hearing the words of Wu via Pudgy. What the? Yeah. What the? What the heck? Yeah. Okay. okay so, <clears throat> if anyone has ever seen an Ibanez swirl guitar, this is how they do that. So this is not new technology. But that's not why yeah. I'm showing this video. Check this out. Now, watch coming in from over here on the right. I want this person's job. Mm hmm. Right here, right here. Oh, I want this job. How do I apply for this job? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. But seriously, though, that, if you've ever seen an Ibanez swirl guitar, the bike model, that is how they they, they dip them like that in, in paint. Yep. In oh. yeah. Hmm. yeah, I think it's paint and vinegar and water. Oh my goodness. I yeah. <sighs> by the mysterious hand that reached the cross table, she spoke the words of woo. Woo 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 woo. Woo 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 woo. First get nachos. <laughs> <laughs> and when both parties have agreed to the, the wooing, they go down the hall, the door closes, stream goes black, it says the next day. And then the stream comes back on, and they're at a diner eating pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> right. The so Jimmy, whenever you watch this tomorrow, you need to take Wendy out for pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Snorter Pooper says, "No way, I'm dipping like that." Aww. Oh, come on, Snort. We need a tie-dyed Snorter Poopus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A tie dyed snort. Hey, mm. Mr. Fed, is that for that 420 thing that people talk about? The pudgy doesn't know what what that, what that means. What tie dyed? Yeah, tie dyed polar bear for 420. <laughs> mm. Maybe. Could you imagine snort stone? Ooh. Wait a minute. They do them. They you get the monkeys when there. you're stoned. You crave yep. things like tacos <laughs> all the yes. time. Yes. I'm suspicious now, Snort. Mm. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, yeah, that's. Dear, dear, dear. Well, remember, there was a movie called Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, they're supposed to be making Wonder a which sequel. Of Snort's family was that? Or was it Snort? Oh. Now that, no, that was a brown bear in that movie. That was one of his cousins. Ah. Uh, but they are wait, supposed wait a to be making. They're making a sequel, supposedly. Boy, Punchy Wonders. I. You, you have a polar bear, but they they would need to do a different drudge. So maybe uh, maybe uh, meth. Well, wait, though, how do we know Snort's not really a brown bear just covered in cocaine and he calls himself a polar bear? So you know the white. That's true. Oh, but Snort the Poop is just nice. Maybe he's just covered in uh, powdered sugar. Yep, from attacking oh. the donut shop. Well, in that case, keep him away from Pudgy. <laughs> yeah. No sugar yep. for Pudgy. No, no sugar. Pudgy, go fast. <laughs> yeah. Wait, well, wait, Pudgy. How'd you wonder if that Grover Cleveland guy ever got reelected? Huh? Hmm? What? what? Yeah, the last Where time. Where did Pudgy he get had... Grover Cleveland? He's a. He... Yeah, the last time Pudgy uh, uh, had Nutella and coffee, you know, Pudgy bounced so much that uh, wound up, uh, you know, wound up and Pudgy saw a Model T drive past, and some guy named Grover Cleveland was running for president. Oh, you did Ooh. time travel. Uh oh. Yeah. He was running for re-election. Ah. Let's see. Ah. Uh, he was the 22nd and 24th president. Hmm. Uh, uh oh. Pudgy did change the uh, flow of time. Yeah. He, he, got the, he got defeated for that first term. Uh oh. Hmm. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, the only president in U.S. history to serve non-consecutive presidential terms. Hmm. Bizarre. Wow. Pudgy. No more wow. Nutella. Yeah, Pudgy agrees. That stuff's too expensive anyway now. Yeah. Yeah, Pudgy went to the squirrels and said, do you, do you have any Nutella? And they said, do you realize how many hazelnuts it takes to make that stuff? No. We're not yeah. going to give you any more hazelnuts. And Pudgy's like, wait a minute, where did we get the hazelnuts from? And they said, we're not telling you, Pudgy. And Pudgy's like, ah, well, fine. Pudgy's not, Pudgy won't tell you where the black walnuts are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and plus there's a chestnut tree up the hill, so Pudgy's like, oh boy, chestnuts. But the only problem with the chestnuts is you have to roast them. Mm -hmm. ah. Uh-oh, what's this? Holy yeah, crap, Pudgy. Ones... Pudgy, okay, I what? found a blower for your El Camino. Wow. Oh, boy. Wow. Holy wow, cats. Wow. It's like twice the height of the vehicle. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Take care, so Pudge. Uh, take care, Agent Pepsi One. See you, Pepsi. Night, Pepsi. Have fun there in the prom. Wait, that's a Buick engine, and then they connected something, another engine on top of it, and then the blower. Oh. Wow. Well, that is the blower. Yeah. What do you put that on? That looks like uh, the blower off a diesel locomotive. It might be. Wow. That's that's overkill. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. And, and, me, and meanwhile, there's this one choo choo train that's over in Great Britain right now that can't run because like some guy with a Buick engine uh, stopped by and went in our blower and. and we thought it was a joke, and he took it off the train. Wait, yeah. what, 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 wait, hang on, hang on. What? Uh-oh, dollar what? train. Yeah. What, what train are you talking about? He's probably just saying any train. Yeah. Take care okay. of every oh, major Pepsi. Whatever, one. sure. Yeah. I just, <clears throat> wait, that, that, uh, I'm sorry, that, I can't conceive where that, would fit. 
It's just anyone says anyone says Brit, anyone says steam train. I'm I, back. Oh, tr- that that oh, always we, gets me interest. We yeah. now know how to. We now know how to summon Dalek. They steam train. <laughs> yeah. Steam train. I'm a steam train running on the track. The only <laughs> way. Words to- of woo woo. Yeah. <laughs> There is no way that would be street ladle. No, you couldn't. You couldn't see over the engine. Yeah, <laughs> why <would> not be? <laughs> wow. oh, 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 yes. Oh, hold on. Snort has done it again. Uh oh. Oops. Pay out the we did it again. Snort, 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 wonderful snort, glorious Stop snort, 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 wonderful snort, glorious snort, 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 you crazy polar bear (laughs) shine on you crazy polar bear no no (laughs) rainbow bright has a new friend oh Oh, dear that yeah his paws are so Bed. <laughs> <laughs> and who ordered the pizza with just the mushrooms on it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, we're back to the one slice pizza. Pizza with yeah. just mushrooms. Just, ew. Yeah. Pizza. Oh, I eat that all the time. I hate <laughs> mushrooms. Pizza and I hate mushrooms. They're disgusting. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Me neither. Snorter Pooper says, "I'm fit to be died." Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mushrooms are okay. I, I like them. Mushrooms and onion. So Snort, when you when you got dipped, who got to hold your boob? Yeah. <laughs> Huh? What? Yeah. yeah. What? Oh, now I get it. Yes. Mm. The uh, swirled guitar thing. Yeah. Oh, oh, duh. Lucky guy. I'm just wondering if they still have an arm left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Snort's got the biggest balls of them all. And Snort's got big balls. And Snort's got big balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh I think on that note. <laughs> 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 Raymond went old school. What? That was the old video. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh. Oh, that's fine. He can play. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. How do you hope Mr. Barron's okay wherever he is? Yeah. He just posted right. on Twitter. Oh, okay. Snort says, I just had some mushrooms with my delicious moo meat. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. And he says, take what was care. that about Baron? I missed it. Yeah, but well, he just hope he's okay. Yeah, he, he posted something on Twitter. Oh. I'm not seeing it now, but. Hmm. Take care of every human, dolphin, doggo, Dalek, ferret, eagle. Hedgehog and Bobby Rusa? What the heck is a Bobby Rusa? Okay. Yeah, uh, I've just been out of it uh, this week. It's been just crazy. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, so I'm not... Uh, not, uh, not my usual dolphin self. Ah. Yeah. So. Oh, I found it. Barons, he's streaming right now. He's talking to, they're talking about uh, Babylon 5. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, so you want to check, check out Babylon 5? Go see the Baron. Also, uh, Clobberman Times is coming on in uh, in about an hour. So if you go to Clobberman Text, check. Um, make sure you say Pod Raid. Um, so show notes, uh, this, uh, um, this coming week, um, this week, uh, this coming week, uh, we'll probably do a Surfside chat. I'll figure out something to do there. Maybe we'll do reviews or something like that, but it's, a uh, Semper Gumby Surfside chat. On the 13th and 14th, we're going to have, uh, I'm going to be at two book signings, not just one, two book signings uh, on the weekend of the 13th. So um, just because maybe kicked back, kicked back a half hour later on Saturday. So got that, Pudgy? Okay, Mr. Raymond. Yeah, so just because we'll be probably starting at 5.30 Eastern that day because of the cool. signings. And then on the 14th, I have the other signing. So back-to-back -back signings for cool. the, dolphin, the Dolphin Wars. On the 17th, we're going to have Stephanie Janicek on. So we'll be going to check out the cantina. Um, on the 20th, uh, Queen Dolphin has a recital, so we will probably be doing a Sunday show. Pudgy. Uh, April 21st, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yep. Live, uncensored. Unedited, unvarnished, unfiltered. Unfor unforgiven. Unforgettable. <laughs> so that is show notes for that's the upcoming episodes. I am working on a couple of interviews. Um, ah. It's getting close to the Air Race Classic. So um, the Air Race Classic. So I hope to have the team come on. I'm still working on that. And that is show notes. Cool. Hey. Show notes with Mr. Ray. Show. Show. All right, and that was show notes. And I'd like to thank everybody who was here at the chat. So let's go through those lovely people who were here. We had 
Dad Man Walking. Thanks for being here. We had the dreaded Darth. We had Disney yeah. Sheep Herder. We had Dog Meat. We had Tim, FKHC, 2005. We had Carl, the lovely Carla Burton. I guess she couldn't make it on, but uh, lo always lovely to have you here, Carla. Yep. We had the dreaded Phantom Outsider. Rancor Steve came to visit. Hey, brother. And, and Raid Nation came over. We had Sean Carter. Yep. We had Matt G, alias Taylor Swift, greater than Disney. And we had, for the, <coughs> excuse me, for the Wrench Team Supreme, we will start out with the producer, Sandra. Um, thank you, honey, for being here and pinging me when I needed to get pinged. Mm -hmm. We had <laughs> Wendy, Wendy Webb, Trauma Warrior, um, visiting us from uh, the from the ball game, and happy anniversary to Jimmy and Wendy. Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! We have <laughs> Agent Fifty One live from. A prom. Um, live from the prom. Mm -hmm. Um you had uh we got the first one, the last first one in, last one out. Legatus Legion not <clears throat> Troublemaker. Troublemaker. Yep. And I died troublemaker. Tie dye troublemaker, yes. And then of course of course Start up a bus, you bar. Dot screen. <laughs> Hashtag roar. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't have much of a song tonight, Pudge. Hmm. Oh, you, you, all of a sudden, you appeared. Oh, yeah. This goofball got to get his timing right tonight. He's been he's been off tonight. No, th th there's a lot. There's a delay between Mr. Raymond. So, uh, Mr. Raymond gets a pass. Okay. This is te 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 technical issues. All right, so I I don't have to beat him up, huh? Yep. All right, and the other guy. Sniffles. Dot. Boom. Boom, buddy, boom, buddy, boom, boom. And finally, Kong. Major Kong. Yeah. I'm going to have to find the uh, Sar Bomba. Whoop. Hey, fool. I'm not ready to leave yet. Okay, Pudgy. Cue the music. Take care, everybody. All right. <laughs> now, time for to thank the amazing people who were in the past. What is this pot meat kettle? I didn't say anything. Okay. Mm. Well, 
All right, so to the wonderful panel that was here. Thank you to the Fet Man. You know what he does. You do? Nobody yeah. does. It's better. Yeah. So thank you, Fet, for being here and uh, um, helping out and being a wonderful mem member of the panel here. Always great to be here. All right. And make sure you check out his channel. Check out his shorts. No, don't look up my shorts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, be close. So there's his channel. You know what he does. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I have a channel. Yeah, I forgot I had one of those. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And, uh, yeah, we just got through that. Check out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can check out my shorts, but only if you really love me. <laughs> That's crazy. And then you go over to the video section for the pants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Dolly, thank you very much for being here. Great time. Pleasure as always, Raymond. Yeah. Thank thanks for having me again. Always glad to have you. Pleasure. Here. All right, uh, and I go to his channel. He's starting to gear things up. Yeah, nope. I, yeah, I'd say I am. Yeah, right. yeah, it was a fun chat the other night. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did one for one. Oh, yeah, I know it's chat you mean. I went for a lot longer than I went to that night. Yep, because I, I was attempt. I initially tried to do start a game stream, but it wouldn't work. But I was having a lot of lagging problems, so I decided to. I, did, I didn't want to just stop at nothing. Stop there. But, um, so so I decided to just. Oh, okay. I'll, if I can't do a game stream, I'll do a reg. I'll do a chill and I'll do I'll do a chill and chat. So that's what I did, and, and I wasn't yeah. planning to go all that long, but it, but it just it went worked out. out long. Yeah. It just went on a lot longer than I, than I thought it would. <laughs> yeah. Well, welcome to the world. world. And Canadian mm -hmm. Spiderman burned the whole tree. <laughs> it did, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it happens that way, that way, Dalek. It happens that way. All right. John, thank you for being here. Always a pleasure, Raymond. And thank you again to everybody in the pod, in the chat. For all the uh, the good wishes and prayers for my mom, and things are looking good. Thanks very much, everybody. Okay. Yes, no, and please put a Fez mom out there. A mama Fez. Yeah, put a put a mama Fez or Fez mom out there to show our support. And. Thank you. While we're doing that, uh, put a BA for Beth Arstead. And of course, we cannot forget Slapman. Now John's going to have to put two, two hands out there to show the cards. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, th I thought about just doing the SS for Slapshot, but I knew YouTube. That's, yeah, thank you. I, I think Slap oh, is yeah. better to keep YouTube off my back. I've got it. Oh, what's this? Ace. Ah! Mm. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I like it. I like it. All right. And get this before we Pudgy. Uh, thank you very thank much you. for inviting Pudgy. Pudgy had a wonderful time tonight, Mr. Raymond. And we had a great time with you, Pudgy. Yes. It's always fun to be here with you and go to his channel his youtube channel yay yeah pudgy's doing a twitch show tomorrow at 2 p.m eastern time uh, pudgy's probably gonna play power world again 
and, and also uh, Pudgy's working on the next um, chapter of Ghosts of Kennesaw. Uh, that's almost ready to go, so Pudgy hopes to record that tomorrow night for, uh, for an upload as well. All cool. right. Cool. Mm, Looking awesome. forward to it. Go to his channel. Guys, it's been great. I hope you uh, all have a great night. Love you. Love the panel. Love the chat. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week. And we will see you on Wednesday here at King Dolphin TV in color. Living color. Good night, all. Huh? Thank you for coming, everybody. Good night, everyone. Have a good night. Good night. Love you all. Night, night. night. Where are you? Right there. It's under the couch. Oh, that's a nice back here for a dolphin boy, so.